Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. And welcome back to the stream. It's going to be a bit of a different one today. We're, we're not playing Stardew Valley this time. We're branching out into the world of a different life sim, farming sim, sim sim, whatever, whatever it's going to be. It's going to be exciting is all I know. Oh my god. You're not about to kick me straight into the straight into Kazoom <laughs> and, and completely derail the entire start of the stream, though, are you? You random random music player? Oh my gosh! Well, this is a great time to introduce. We got uh, we we got some new emotes happening happening around here. If you got them, raise your Argon homies. <laughs> look at that! Look at the little dude dootin'. He's kazooming. Sorry, they're they're kazooming. They're kazooming. Look at it. <laughs> it's so good. Thank you to Aru's B for the amazing new emotes. We got Argon Homie and Argon Argon Gold, our first Beatrix emote. And uh also updating all, a bunch of the old emotes. Very, very nice of them. Thank you so much. Do 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 it's so perfect. I mean, with this, I have to get into the uh, I have to get into the fan art because there is a very fitting piece of fan art to go with this. I did not orchestrate this. I promise. I I very well could have, but but I did not to have Kazoom playing at this moment. But let's get into the fan art, shall we? Before we move on with anything else, starting with wait, let me get it set up. Starting with this lovely little piece from Annika. Annika, I believe in chat. Annika, Annika Schwede. Annika Schwede. It's not a phase, Mom. Ge Goth Beatrix has entered the chat. It's so good. <laughs> very, very nice uh, rendition. It's it's very nice. Glad with how they came out. The the new emotes are amazing. Ours be very well done. This is very, very cute. Very fitting. It, Beatrix has entered a new era, and I'm I'm so here for it. I'm so here and so ready. Thank you to Annika for this one. Next up, here we go. Another one from Annika. A little, little comic strip of our everyone's favorite homie dooting along to, to passionately playing Kazoom. That's what you can hear in the background right now. It's so fitting. It's so perfect. It couldn't have been more fitting. Drop some, drop some Argon homies in chat if you got them. And if you don't, just feel free to have a little dance party. It's very cute, very well done. I love this little comic strip. <laughs> Thank you to Annika for that. Next up, we also have this from Lily McCollum. I, Lily, I don't know if you're in chat today. I know you were, you were here yesterday, but I get to share this now. This beautiful friendship bracelet. Featuring the Junimos and the legendary Starfruit Saga. For those who weren't wa who haven't been watching the Randomized Perfection playthrough, we did have to get Junimo Huts to get the Starfruit. It was a whole big thing. It was extremely, <laughs> extremely important to our success. And this is a great way to commemorate it. It's so well done, yeah. Very, very pretty. We got some great talent yeah, as far as artists go in the, in the community, that's for sure. Artists of all kinds. And last, but certainly not least, we got this one from Practically Procrastinating. I can't, I can't even be mad. The new fit, Beatrix's new fit, is inspiring such great art already. This is yet another great piece of it. I don't think I don't see the, the hidden little B on Beatrix's shirt right there. Hidden B emoji. Appreciate it, because we not only do we love Kazoom, we love our B underscore boss dot OGG around here as well. Wouldn't that have been amazing if I had transitioned right into that song? But, <laughs> alas, tis, twas not meant to be. Bia the true B boss? Indeed, it's so true. Thank you to pra Practically Procrastinating, also known as Epsilon Aphrodite, in our YouTube chat. And there, and there you are right now. Gotta have the gotta have the B boss inspired rock top. It's perfect. It's a perfect fit. I wish it existed in the game that way. <laughs> And thank you to all the fan artists who contributed fan art over the past year and a half or so. It's been an amazing ride to see all this amazing fan art roll in. And the train continues on if you'd like to share your fan art. Exclamation point Discord, there's a link to the Discord there. 
You can go to the fan art channel. Let us know how you want to be credited. If you want to be credited, share whatever talents you got. If you, if you feel inspired to make something, by all means, I'd love to see it. For now, though, let's digress. Let's digress and see what the heck Palea is all about. Pa it's Palea, right? It's not pa Palea. My first instinct was Palea, but I think I've successfully internalized Palea, if that is indeed the proper pronunciation. I don't know if any, uh, any Palea enjoyers are in chat right now, but... We're gonna get into it either way. So what this is, I've I have seen very little about this. Let me tell you exactly my experience with Palea so far. I saw one one day I saw that Habu was streaming it. I saw him streaming a game called Palea. I'd never heard of it. Didn't think, didn't think much of it. I didn't I didn't tune into the stream at the time because I was busy. Then I saw. Then it had I had a recommended to me in chat, and then I saw Wickedy also streamed it. I watched Wickedy stream for about 30 seconds as she was creating her character at the very beginning. And I was like, all right, maybe I should give this a try. And here we are now. I'm, I'm willing to give it a whirl. For, for those not in the loop, Palea is an, uh, is an MMO, a massively multiplayer online game. Much in the same vein as, uh, as Stardew, as far as genres go. Stardew's obviously not massively multiplayer online, but it is a farming sim, life sim. You can go farm and fish and and have just a grand old time. So I'm, I'm super excited to give it a try and see where this journey takes us. And I believe you can also, I mean, like I said, it's a massively multiplayer online game, which means you should be able to like play with me in theory. I don't know. I don't know exactly how the, how like the online servers work yet. We're going to get into that all together, I'm sure. Um, but in theory, like it's a free open beta. You can just go join right now. There's a link. To, there's a link in the description below the stream. You can go set up an account, download it and all that good stuff. And, uh, and yeah. You can sync servers with friends. Interesting. I'm well. I'm, I'm excited to see exactly how that unfolds. I'm sure we got some tutorial stuff to go through before we get into any of that anyway. But uh, let me set things up for you here. I don't often stream non-Stardew games, so my like setup for this might not be as good as it could be. But I tried to I tried to set things up nicely beforehand. I'm also gonna turn off our music because I assume there's gonna be in-game paleo music to appreciate. And I don't want to override that with my own stream soundtrack, so. Only started playing today and you already love it. That's a good sign. I'm hoping that uh, I, I'll catch that bug just as well. All right. Let me make sure. Okay, it is capturing. Good. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get past this, like, starter screen. This is, like, a login screen. And I just want to make sure that it's not like, hey, welcome to Palea. By the way, is this your IP address, telephone number, and social insurance number? I just want to make sure we avoid anything like that before before we get in. I assume it'll be fine, but let me just uh, verify for myself. There's music and also cutscenes. Ooh, I do love me a good cutscene. The art style is so nice in, in Palea from what I've seen. That's the other thing I've seen. I saw a trailer on their website, a non-gameplay trailer, and it was uh, it was very magical and whimsical and fun. Looks really fun, but Baldur's Gate Three is consuming your life right now. <laughs> Fair, you know what? There's only there's only room for so many massive games. Is Bal is Baldur's Gate Three uh, an MMO? No, it's not. Right? It's just it's just a really good game from what I keep hearing. Either way, we're not here about to talk about Baldur's Gate Three. We're here to talk about Palea. Email or password is incorrect. No, I don't think so. Hold on, let me try again. I must have must have mistyped something. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, there we go. All right, we got a photo sensitivity warning. I think I can. Let's see. So photo sensitivity warning going going on in past this. All right, I think we're I think I'm safe to show you what I'm looking at now. I think I think we're safe to actually jump in here. So let me bring you over to the village values. I appreciate that they put something like this like right at the very beginning here. Be a responsible neighbor, be a kind neighbor, be a helpful neighbor. Neighbor. This is like right off the bat setting such a good vibe for this game. 
We will take care of ourselves and our emotions responsibly as we play. We will use the tools provided to us in-game to keep everyone, including ourselves, safe. We will protect our personal information, and we will not ask players to share theirs. Good. I guess I don't have to worry about it doxing me at any point. <laughs> I hope, anyway. All right. Well, let's be a kind neighbor, be a helpful neighbor. I, I fully agree to all of this. Let's see. Now, where should I start? Ooh. I looked for subtitles, by the way. I didn't see them on here. So I'll try not to talk over the voice acting or anything like that. She was a body type. <laughs> so for some reason, this is not the first question I anticipated when I launched this game. Uh, she was a body type. Am I am I upside am I a tri upside down triangle or am I more of a trapezoid? I guess I'll be a trapezoid. That's fine. That works. Yeah, that's pretty. That looks pretty good. All right. Character. We gotta. I mean, we have to build Chloe here, right? We have to build Chloe here. I. I, I knew there was character customization. We have to try and build Chloe. What is Chloe's face shape? I mean, when you only got so many pixels to work with, it's hard to tell. Is this Chloe? It has to... It, oh, that kind of feels like Chloe to me. Just mess around a little bit here. I don't want to, you know, stay on the character customization screen for like an hour, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We'll see how in-depth this gets. This feels, this feels Chloe-esque to me. Skin tone. The skin tone honestly feels about right. Maybe it's a little bit darker. I'm messing around. I'm trying to... Let's see. No, that's that's too late, I think. I think right there. I think this is Chloe. Blasted. Hello. Welcome on in. Odd way of saying male slash male or female, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, maybe... They, I mean, maybe they just eschew the whole idea of... of gender... like male-female gender entirely here, because there's not really an option for that. I just want to make sure... Yeah, this, this feels right to me. All right, eyes... Chloe's eyes are blue. They're like this kind of blue, I'm pretty sure. I hope I'm not completely getting that wrong. Shoot, it might be more like this. No, that's like aquamarine. Maybe it's actually like this. No, it's a little too, like, white. It's a little too without any pigment at all. I think this is good. Voice. We got a whole voice. Voice. Voice AI. Voice A1, sorry. Why is it why is it clipping off though? Oh no! <laughs> that, that's definitely Chloe right there. We've never decided on Chloe's voice before. Chloe's never had a voice up until now. What are we feeling? I kinda I'm kinda feeling voice A3 a little bit. Also, voice A3 and A2 feel very similar to me. Chloe voice reveal. Hey. <laughs> voice A3 is your personal fave. Yeah, vo voice A5 not doing it for me exactly. Not for Chloe, at least. I'm going to go with A3. A3 feels all right. Okay, hair. This is the most important part to get right. All right, Chloe's hair. We got primary and... Do we have primary and secondary color? And eyebrow and hair dye patterns? Holy moly. <laughs> I thought this game was a beta. This is this is, this is is so in-depth already. Um. All right, do, do they have Chloe's hairstyle? I don't really see a Chloe-adjacent hairstyle. We might have to improvise here. That's kind of cute. That's like Chloe... She's got like a little like... She's, it's shorter than usual. Oh, we can do... Woo! <laughs> That's pretty good. What else we got here? Ooh, a little short, short hair Chloe. We could go with pigtails as well. 
There's the tiniest hint of purple in Chloe's hair. It's it's like a very dark pink is what Chloe's hair actually is once you actually look into the sliders and stuff. Could go ponytail, sporty Chloe. How do we feel? I like I like I, I do like this one. Pigtails are nice. This doesn't feel right for Chloe. I don't know why. I don't I, like I like I like the ponytail. I just don't think it fits her that well. You can change things like hair and clothes later in game, so no pressure, make it perfect. Shoulder, the pigtail, the pigtails are, are pretty cute. I can't lie about that. Pigtails with shoulder shoulder length of bangs. I think let's, let's rock the pigtails. Yeah, I think looking at the rest of these, I feel like this is a good fit. All right, primary color. So we we got like black. We got black. We don't want to go like full black. Like jet black is a little too too dark. I think cherry. I mean, cherry is honestly about as close as yet to Chloe's actual hair color, I think. But we can do primary and secondary is the thing. And then what, what kind of highlight patterns or hair dye patterns do we actually have here? Interesting. This is like, this is, pattern three is just like all one color more than anything. And then maybe that's what we prefer? Definitely not that. That feels a little too... That's actually that's not bad actually. It's it's kind of it's more green than I would like. Purple. The ch cherry seems ideal here. You go cherry and then hair dye pattern. It, which which one do these do we prefer? Well, I, I guess I have to pick two different. Like, what if we do like with black highlights or like jet black highlights? I think the jet jet black is a little more fitting here. I think we're gonna go with that. This feels this feels good. Pink or blonde? Chloe definitely not blonde, but I can I'm, I can respect it. Eyebrow color. Let's go with. I guess we should just make the eyebrows match the. We should just go with cherry just to match. All right. Uh, this looks good to me. Face mask. She does not have glasses, so that's fine. All right. Tops. She goes. She's. Let's see, part of the village summer set, seedling. We also want to go make sure it's green. Green are Chloe's colors. Okay. Honestly, like this is pretty this is pretty good right off the bat. Tranquility. There's so many good options. Like I love like a lot of these already, just like looking at them. Chloe's looking so cute in HD. Chloe's getting a, getting an upgrade to the third dimension for the first time ever. On, like these starter clothes are honestly not bad. The seedling, this 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 is a very cute little dress right here. I kind of like this, but I kind of also want her to have pants. Stirrups. That's not bad. Tranquility. I, I could be here all day. I really could. This this kind of feels right, actually. This this one right here, part of the villager vibes set. Chloe does have villager vibes. She's been living amongst all the villagers in Pelican Town. I can rock that. All right. We also want to have the matching. Actually, she has like blue pants most of the time, or like a dark blue, dark blue pants set. Is this the same? This is the same set right here. So if we want a matching set, we would go with that. Red. She doesn't necessarily have to match her Stardew Persona one to one either. She did. Ha she did. Like OG Chloe actually had like dark pants like this. Took you ne nearly an hour to create your character. I can see why. <laughs> and the character customization options are only going to get more crazy. I imagine. I like this. This feels. This feels right. Skin, makeup, no makeup. We don't. This honestly, she, she looks she looks perfect. Let me get a close up. We'll just we'll test some of these out. See if we're feeling any of them. That's not bad. That's kind of subtle. I like that. 
just no make like no, like there's barely a difference between between that and that like i can't even tell you the difference honestly i'm just gonna go with no makeup i think that's fine all right are we good to go is this chloe chat wait i want to can i zoom out can i zoom out on her there we go is this chloe have we have we have we transplanted chloe into the third dimension i think this might be as close as we get seems pretty good all right lock it in i can always escape an mmo don't fall don't fall for the sunk cost fallacy all right lock it in finish look I'll not be able to change your body type, face, skin tone, eye color, or voice after your character is created. This functionality will be added in a future update. Good to know. Thank you. Choose a unique name. Character's full name? All right, character's nickname. This is what villagers will call you. This is just Chloe. That, that one's an easy one. Chloe's full name? Chloe, Chloe last name reveal? Salmens, welcome on in. It's good to see you. Exclamation point, Sal. Oh, you're, you're blasted. You're already ahead of me. <laughs> I'm very excited to see it as well. I have literally... I, I saw Wickedy create her character, and that's pretty much the extent of the gameplay that I've ever seen. New Chloe lore. What's Chloe's last name? Chloe. You know what? I actually... I was thinking about this the other day, because when I, when I watched Wickedy stream and I watched her create her character, I, re I remembered, oh, there's like a full name segment. And I was like brainstorming at work the other day. And for some reason, the the name that struck me like a bolt out of the blue. I'm gonna go. She's her name last name Chloe. Chloe Castle. In my head, she's from Castle Village, and you know what? She just adopts that moniker, so it's fair. I, like I like to think of this as she's going to Palea, and they're asking her for like her immigration forms, and she's like, and they're like, "What's your last name?" And she's like, "What's the last name?" And they're like, "Uh," and then she just had to pick one, and she was born in Castle Village, so there you go. New Chloe lore just dropped. Chloe Castle. Do not use your real name to protect your privacy. Good, good shout. Play Palea as Chloe Castle. Let's do it. Oh, I'm entering the Matrix. I have high hopes for what you can accomplish. Oh no. <laughs> high hopes are, are my downfall. Oh no, I'm a perfectionist. Don't tell me that. Now I have to live up to expectations. Well, guess it's, guess it's time to spend the next thousand hours of my life grinding out max skills in this game. Ooh. Mystical vibes so far. I'm loving it. What do we got going on here? That's cool. Is that like a... It's like a... I think it's a phoenix. It's some kind of bird statue. It almost looks like bird and dragon at the same time. Oh, this vibe. It's so good. Oh, gosh. So that's, that's a lot of magic right there. Everyone knows purple is the color of magic. There she is. It's our girl. She is landed in Palea. Here we go. Let me know if it's too loud, by the way. I, I tried my best to do volume adjusting beforehand. And this is exactly where I stopped watching Wickedy stream. <laughs> so everything from here on out, I have no idea. Oh my dragon. Hello, Gina. I love you already. Gina seems nervous about getting to know you. How do I... Man, Chloe's really good at reading social cues. Oh, my dragon. Did you just materialize from nowhere? I honestly have no idea. What is... Water type personalities are thoughtful, introspective, and emotionally sensitive. While intelligent, they often tend towards melancholy. Oh, no. Gina will remember that choice. Is this one of those games where all these... Every single dialogue option is going to matter? I'm scared. Air type personalities are laid back and free spirited. I'm not going to pay attention to what those say. I'm just going to. What are the options here? I honestly have no idea. So I just materialized from nowhere. More like spiraling. More like from a spiraling pink void that's a little too sassy for me. Not sure, but glad to be here. Or, well, I'm here, aren't I? That sounds a little, little high and mighty. I feel like it's either one or three. 
Chat, what's chat? One or three. I feel like this is an important decision. This sets the tone for Chloe's personality going forward. Not sure, but glad to be here. Or I honestly have no idea. Three sounds let sit down sounds very Chloe. Is this a mystery dungeon moment? I feel I think I think you guys are right. Three sounds good. I'd heard humans had started appearing for, for, out of nowhere in sacred sites around Palea. But I didn't know that meant one literally appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> That's all I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. Take this map and head around town where I can talk to Ashura the innkeeper. He's been helping others like you get settled in. That sounds perfect. I'm this close to figuring it out. I th This foreshadowing? Foreshadowing already? I love it. So caught off guard. At, I, I was so caught off guard I realized I forgot to introduce myself or explain why I'm here. The name's Gina. I'm an apprentice scholar around these old ruins. And this here's my research assistant, Hecla. Is that the robot? Hecla, I love him. I love him. The robot aesthetic in this game is actually amazing. Back to, right, my studies. Back to your studies. Navigate the world using WASD. Easy. Look around using the mouse. Understood. I got you. Holy. We're, we're already in here. The hair is more pink in game than it was in the character creators. And I, I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Look at you. Hello. Welcome to Palea. Find Ashura in Kilima. Oh, oh, we had a little, little frame dip there, but that's okay. Robot was her. Hecla, hello. Are you in need of sustenance? Hello. <laughs> Am I in need of sustenance? No, I had a big lunch. It's all good. I have many questions about your spontaneous emergence. Hecla doesn't really seem to care much about you one way or the other. That's valid. Your presence heralds much change in the world of Palea. What am I? Who are you? Or why was your friend so freaked out? This feels like a who are you situation. I am Hecla. It is my duty to aid and join to protect the young scholar known as Gina. Alright. We have stumbled upon you during a routine excavation of the ruins in this ancient human city. This occurrence comes at a great surprise at great surprise to young Gina. I, on the other hand, found it inevitable. Thanos? You, you were bound to return one day. Why not today? I was bound to return one day. All right, fair enough. My t the, oh, the time is going by so fast. It's already 9, 19 a.m. I got to get going. All right, but I mean, my gamer instincts tell me I need to explore and change hair a little later in the game. Uh, yeah, someone mentioned that. I imagine there's some sort of barber situation going on. Okay. Very, very nice vibes so far. Jumping and climbing. Some obstacles can be jumped with the space bar. Press shift to toggle sprint. Oh, so it's not like a hold. Okay, so you toggle sprint in this game. It's not hold. Got it. Proceed into the next room by jumping over obstacles. Can do. True gaming? It's a Wait, it's a platformer? I'm getting some serious Breath of the Wild vibes all of a sudden. Walk, run, or jump on the climbable surfaces. You got it. Stamina and everything. I didn't realize this was, like, Breath of the Wild so much. All of a sudden, I'm like, hold up. Breath of the Wild, Stardew Valley, MMO. This game was made for me. It's a literal Breath of the Wild moment. What the heck? Ooh. It's so pretty. Welcome to Palea, everybody. Yo, hope you feel better soon, Abby. Good to good to have you here. Hope you enjoy the vibes. Mecha Kitty, it's my it's my first friend. Hello. You're cute. I like I like the blue. Alien navigation. Important objectives like quests are tracked on your compass. Items outside the compass are behind you. Rotate your camera. Okay. Press M to open the map screen. Gotcha. Add your own marker by pressing middle mouse. Understood. Alright, so map. Map me up. Phoenix Falls, so that definitely was a phoenix. Is this Ashura? This is Kilima. Mirror Fields. We got a lot of people down this way. Sifu, Kenyatta, Zeki. Ashura. That's the, that's the little yellow flag. Very impressed. Very surprised with how polished the, polished the visuals look so far. It's very good, yeah. It was. It is a little framey at moments, but that might also be because of like my setup, so I don't want to diss the game on that. And we'll I'll change it if I need to. I can always, like, downgrade the graphics. I think it's on epic quality right now. All right. I'm already lost. 
Okay, they're they're and they already know that I'm lost. Do they are they tapped into my microphone? Okay, can I can I break the crates? Break the crates? I can't. I don't even have anything to like attack with right now, so that's fine. Many faces of Sean. Shawnee do. Are you playing the same game at the game at the same time as me? How many players can this game handle? I have no idea, but I'm I'm excited to find out. It's looking great so far. Ooh, side path, side quest already. What if I just like don't go to Ashura? Is this one of those games where I could just like, like, are they gonna lock me into this starter village until I complete the tutorial? You think? Eloisa, hello. Got any new theories? Oh my gosh, she's adorable. <laughs> Another human, I must say, this is quite exciting. Another human, you say? How is it? How's what? <laughs> the overworld, you see? I knew humans did not really go extinct. The only answer is that you retreated beneath the soil. I mean, I am a farmer. <laughs> I am one with the soil. I cannot imagine how stressful it must be. I'm sure you have many questions, but I should go set up, set up with Ashura. Ashura. She gave me two thumbs ups. Take this, just take this path towards the village. He will be in the inn in the center of town. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Eloisa. I have a feeling I'm going to love all the characters in this game. Oh, grass. That's a big grasshopper. That's like the size of my foot. What the heck? I don't have a net to catch you, but I assume that's a thing I can do in the future. Ooh, copper ore. Copper ore discovered. Speed run speed running tech? I can climb I just I just climb anything. Alright. Let's go up here. Why not? I'm the king of this village. Do you think there's fall damage? I rolled. I don't know if that's uh if that's typical or or not. Tish, hello. I've got some new stuff in the shop. I I used you for my uh stream my stream schedule layout because you're because I like I like your design. I run the furniture store. Are you new in town or just passing through? I just materialized from a void or I just moved in? Uh, I mean, the honest truth is I just materialized from a void, but that seems like a like a heck of a thing to say. I'm just going to say I've just moved in. I don't want to freak her out. So exciting, but also tough. When my brother and I first moved to the city, it took us quite a, it took us a little time to adjust. More than a little in his case. Ooh. Foreshadowing as well. I'm known as a bit of a grump whisperer in, in, in these parts. A grump whisperer. That's a great. That's a great term. Wonder who Chloe would romance and Palea. I don't even know if that's an option. Probably not. I've, in an MMO, it seems like. I mean, maybe you could make it work. I guess. I'm just. I'm just having a great time, like looking around at this place. This is so like vibrant and bubbly. And it's like, I like the color palette. It's like a muted color palette, but it's like they, they leaned so hard into it, and I love it. I love it. I love every little bit of it. Hello, Nayo. Are you lost? You must be new in town. I'm Nayo. My family runs the Daya farm over on the west side. If you need someone to show you around the barn show you around the barn or teach you how to ride a riff rock, I'm your guy. Is that it sounds like a griffin. A griffin slash rock, a riff rock? I'm also good at lifting heavy stuff if you need anything heavy lifted. He gave me a carrot, a carrot for Sugarfoot. Give her one of these, and you'll and she'll and you'll be her new best buddy. My first item. Oh. Item acquired. Carrot. All right. I'm sure we'll sort that out eventually. Um. Okay. Let's follow. Let's go find Ashura. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? I I will talk to anyone I see. Ooh. This looks like a this is like a Pokemon or something. Like the face of that thing. Maybe Sugarfoot is a Rift Rock. That would that would check out. I, I thought I just defaulted to thinking that Sugarfoot was a was a horse, but they wouldn't use horses in this game, surely. Is that a wanted poster? I'm a little Have scared now. Enly. Oh, it's on my head. <laughs> <laughs> this this dude. I am the Honorable Kenley Bahari. The firstborn son of the late Kenjin Bahari, the 118th Duke of the Bahari Province. Uh, that was going to be my my guess, actually. And brother of Kenyara Bahari, this current Duchess of the Bahari Province. Is that where I am right now, Bahari? I am the mayor of this fine village. Chat, rate the rate, rate the mayor on a scale of of Lewis to Kenley. <laughs> Don't tell Eshe you saw. Oh my gosh. 
I don't know. I, I love Lewis. Lewis has a good special place in my heart, but Kenley, I, th I think you're starting off on a, on a better foot than Lewis, even. What do you got? What do you for? <laughs> Hello, ref. Looking for Ashura? Your luck. He's literally right across the room. Oh, this is awkward. If you're looking for delicious soups and stews instead, I'm your guy. It's all right. I got a carrot. Although the carrot is for Sugarfoot, so maybe I should maybe I should save it. Ashura, there you are. All right. I've heard great things about you, my fine friend. Day. Oh my gosh, he's battle scarred. This guy's hard. He's 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 a tough looking dude. Welcome to Killima. I'm sure this is I'm sure this is quite a lot to take in. You're not wrong. He's so jolly. I'm Ashura, the innkeeper of Ormu's Horn. Unfortunately, there isn't any room at the inn right now. But we do have some old plots in the northeast where you could build yourself a tent. All right, want to take the great take on the great outdoors? Nothing like sleep, sleeping under the stars. I'm not the camping type, or I'm just glad to have a place to sleep. I think I think Chloe would be very enthusiastic about this. Honestly, the night sky is beautiful. To build a tent, you're going to need to collect some materials. I had a feeling. Oh, I got an axe. I'll have to talk to our resident miner Hadari about the pick. He's checking up the checking out the plots right now. You'll want to take the road up the hill to the northeast. Got it. Appreciate you, sir. I'll see you around. Hello, hello. All right. Can I? So wait. How do I? How do I axe? Can I axe you a question? They'll probably give me a tutorial on it. They've been pretty good about that so far. I'm liking that they're. It's like a. It's not a super handholdy approach so far. Like they're giving me waypoints, but they're also not. At least as far as I've been able to tell like, forcing me to go in a certain direction. I feel very free, and I want to catch that fish. I got plus 15 focus, by the way. That's me. I'm very focused, as you can tell. Press R to take out tools. Oh, they got a tool wheel. I see. Okay. And then I can... Yes. All right. All right. Thank you. I'm going I'm to try my best not to, like, wiki anything in this game yet or look anything up. I'm just going to go off the whims of what I can discover on my own and chat as well. But I think that'll be more fun. I ate the carrot? No! Wait, can I get another one? I didn't mean to eat the carrot. That's that's where I got my 15 focus. Sifu. Didn't I hear about you? I'm Sifu the blacksmith around these parts. You may recognize me as Sifu, the famous monster slayer. Um... You're that Sifu? <laughs> wow. I don't know if if you're gonna if you have to brag, you're not that famous. Let's go let's go here. That feels alright. The uh, very one. How did a famous monster hunter like me wind up in a quaint suburban hamlet such as this? That's a good question. Fortunately I have a good answer. I became a mother and realized angering dangerous beasties was a little too dangerous for my young son. We we stan a responsible mother. Now, where was Holy I? she's she's based? All right, Kenyatta. There's so many people to, to to meet, and I love them all so far. One of the newbies. I'm just taking a break from my work. My parents made me get this job at City Hall to teach me about responsibility. Uh, good. Stop by again later and keep me entertained. This town needs more excitement. You got it. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Gabriella the Magical. Great name. I'm excited to make to make new friends. Uh, Nayo, do you have another carrot I can have? I ate that. I ate the previous one. I'm on my way to the housing plots. Come back anytime. All right, that's that's fair. He does. He's not just an infinite ca carrot supply. That's fine. Sifu buff. You are the carrot. Sounds like a motivation. A motivational motto. Captain Jack Sparrow. Hello. I didn't expect to see you here of all people. That's that's a bit of a, a bit of a shock. I'm just, like, I'm loving this so far. I haven't, I haven't even done anything in this game. I'm just enjoying, like, the atmosphere, the vibe. It's so, it's so good already. Wait, can I chop down a tree? Can I just chop down, like, any old tree I want? Sorry, you need to upgrade your tool. That tree is too strong. All right, what about this tree? Oh, there we go. Baby tree. I can get the baby trees. All right. My first loot. One plant fiber and nine sap wood. Wait, sap? Perfect. All right. That's probably all I need to build a tent, right? They're, they're talking in they're talking in general chat. Hopefully they won't say anything untoward. I'm, I'm excited to, to see. 
Bubby Boobis. Not sure about that name. All right. Um, we want to go up this way by the looks of it to find our housing plot. Eat the sap? It's sap wood. I would have to extract the sap from the wood in order to consume it, I think. Is this the right way, or is... There's probably multiple ways to go, actually, by the looks of things here. How, what what skill do I need to chop down this tree? Not choppable, confirmed. Looking like a redwood out of out of old school RuneScape or something like that. Ooh, this looks cozy. Anybody home? They just, they just let me in. Sifu's room. Okay, I probably shouldn't just like in, like intrude upon Sifu's home when she's not home. That's that's a little a little bit weird. I gotta get that those video game sensibilities out of me where you can just go into anyone's house at any time. You can also fast travel by clicking home on the map. Good to know. Although I am somewhat averse to, to fast travel, I'm not gonna lie. In most games, but in this game, it might be it might be a different different case. Oh. Cutscene. Ooh. I can turn off chat if I'm worried about that. I'm not super worried right now. We'll 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 let it ride. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> it's grandpa's farm all over again. Not again! Not again! Hello, sir. That's uh that's quite quite the entrance. Oh boy. Ooh. Hello. Hodari. Hmm, scumming along. Got a lot of trash left though. Oh hi. Oh, he's cute. You said it not me, but I mean I think we're all thinking the same thing looking at this at this this gentleman. <laughs> uh what can I do for you? You can tell me how you got those biceps. <laughs> Oh, they know what they're doing. They know. They know. Hi, I'm Chloe. Ashura sent me for a pickaxe. I think let's start with just an introduction here. Hi, I'm Chloe. Hi, I'm Chloe. Interesting name. What do you got against Chloe? I guess it is probably a weird name for around these parts. Been sending a lot of new folk my way lately. It's the whole reason I'm checking out the sounds the soundness of these campsites. Don't you don't need you all buried in mud. So I've been buried in plenty of mud in the past. You don't need to worry about that. You got an axe already? Take this pick, too. Always good to have the right tool for the job. Use them both to clear the debris. Mining's hungry work, so you better take this, too. I got a grilled mushroom and something else. I didn't catch it. My daughter says I need to eat healthier, but, you got it, but you'll get more use sure. out of it. Press and hold R to open the tool wheel. Got it. Ho hover over a tool and release R to equip it. Try gathering stone. Press and hold R to switch to another tool. Try gathering wood from nearby wood debris. I can chop barrels in this game. Holy. I got grilled mushroom. Okay. Press F to gather the items you have created. Easy. I was I was already one step ahead of you. All right. I already have... No, I don't have my axe out anymore. But I have the axe right here. Choppa. How much does action bars? My action bar is full. You can scroll to an action bar number two using the mouse wheel. That's what I just tried. Using the pips to keep track of which action bar is displayed. The items in your action bar are outlined in your inventory. Okay. Place items you can cons use or consume in your action bar for ready access. Got you. So we got two action bars. Number three. How do I how do I know how much this would like restore or like how much it would give me? Also loot. Don't forget to actually loot the things you're... I got one ancient thing, by the way. One ancient thing. Love to see it. Control. Oh, this is this is not what I want. I can see in the inventory how much focus it will give you. Is inventory I? I'm a, I'm a gamer. 50 focus points. Munch on these mushrooms grilled over a campfire. Oh, you can also see the value of them. Value, value is... Some gold. All right, I got an ancient thing. It's unclear what this thing is meant to be, but it sure looks important, and it's ancient. Maybe someone will know what it does. Key item? New key item discovered, I think. All right, let's get some... Let's try some, let's try, try some mining as well. I don't, don't, don't think I don't see that glowing mushroom. That was the first thing that caught my eye when I came around here as well. 
Beautiful. I don't know how much of this we need, but we might as well just, uh, just go. We got some morels. I'm familiar. Gonna lurk for most of the stream while you play Animal Crossing New Horizons. Totally fair. Seems like the kind of game to, to play Animal Crossing alongside, to be honest with you. One out of three clear some debris from the plot. Why is it's only one out of three? Do I need to clear specific debris from the plot? Like maybe around like here? I mean I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep chopping. Keep chopping and picking. I'm a fan I'm a fan of these of these uh tedious sort of tasks. I did it. I, I did two out of three and three out of three all in one step. Perfect. Alright, I will return to Hadari, but are there any more mushrooms first? Any more mushrooms? How much does that mushroom restore for the record? Five focus points. Super popular, raw or cooked. Can't wait to get to the cooking segment. Different kinds of debris, you might be right, yeah. Still lots to do, but it's a start. I found this weird thing, by the way. Not sure what this is. It's my plot after all, so I get to keep it. Alright, I'll 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 bring it. Someone in town probably has an idea about it. There should be space to drop a work table down. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before worrying about glowing tubes. Sound advice, to be honest with you. Accepted quest, a sword okay. solution. Select the workbench from your action bar. He gave me a whole workbench. What a generous lad. Um, then press... Wait, press... Okay, I see. So I select it first, and then I press that to enter placement mode. Rotate using Q and E, and press it again to make the final placement. Action bar can be cancelled by selecting X. Got it. Alright, so we go 8, and then we place. And we can just place this literally anywhere. I can just wander around. I can I can Q, Q and E to rotate, like they said. I don't think I need to do that right now. You can also rotate them using the scroll wheel. Oh, look at that. Thank you for the quality of life. That's probably better than Q and E, to be honest with you. I'm just going to go ahead and plop this. Like, it feels like I should just have it, like, near the entrance right here for right now. I can probably move it later if I need to, but this feels fine. All right. Craft a wooden storage chest and place my storage chest. Craft a tent and place my tent. All right, what do I need for a wooden storage bin? I need more wood. Five more wood. I already have enough flint. Got it. So let's just get, let's get to chopping. This girl was made for chopping. All right, still need more wood. Stop these little guys. Right where you put yours. <laughs> it seems like a perfect spot. How did I get five sapwood out of that? I guess maybe you get more wood out of, like, plants than you do out of just random debris. That kind of makes sense. There's more, maybe there's better wood to salvage from, from nature. All right, let's make that. A simple storage chest made of wood stores 400 items. Is that 400 stacks of items or just 400 items in general? You can place up to eight general storage chests on your plot. It's been done. I've got my first chest. Iron Man Chloe would be so jealous right now. Let's place it right next to our to our workbench. Makes sense right now. Storage solution. I got plus five renown. They heard about the legendary chest over on uh over on Castle Plot, I guess is what this place is right now. <laughs> Get a pack upgrade at Zeki's store. All right, I'm going to store this ancient tube. Um, I'll keep everything else for right now, just in case, because I don't know exactly what I need to, to craft everything here. Max storage is 3,200 items if you build all the chests. Very true. All right, makeshift tent. I need some plant fiber, and I need a lot more wood. So we should get to chopping trees, because that's the only place I've found, like, plant fiber so far. I guess this is more of a bush than a tree, but honestly, it seems like it's more rich in plant fiber than anything else, yeah, so that makes sense. Six, oh my gosh, they, they got a clock tower in this game. 6.02, it's dinner time. The chests are linked to a universal storage. Is the ch Are chests like a bank? Is it like, can you, uh, do like all chests access other chests? Need the space for the tent anyway. I don't know how big this tent is going to be, to be honest with you. I'm just going to clear out this middle section as best I can, I guess. 
Junimo chests everywhere. All the chests are Junimo chests. That's that's very, very handy, to be honest with you. Clear this one out of the way. How's our focus doing, by the way? How do I how do I check how much focus I currently have? Which I assume is is my version of energy in this game. Focus. I can see it like pulsing in the top left, but I don't know exactly what that means just yet. I'm at zero, which is why it's blinking pink. Okay, so Chloe's getting very tired. Plus 50 focus for my grilled mushrooms then. Use it or lose it. Ready to craft. All right, let's make this tent. Focus increases experience gained from all sources and is regenerated by eating. Oh, oh interesting. So you can still do stuff when your focus is at zero, but if you do stuff better if you're not at if you're if you have some focus. It's kind of what I gather from that. All right. New tent. Oh my gosh, holy. I did not I made this out of 25 wood. That's amazing. <laughs> that's such a that's a that's a massive tent. Oh my gosh. Who needs a house upgrade when you got a, a tent this big already? Talk to Aoni when he visits my plot. So I, I just gotta wait around for Aoni then? Is that is that what I'm to, to gather from this? Oh, there he is. Or oh, there she is, maybe? There they are. Hello. Good, you haven't left yet. Very cute design. Every character is such a cute design. This is really good. Amon Delilah told me that there was a new human in town, and here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. With that whole backpack, this dude's a monster. He, he wanted, she wanted you to have this housewarming gift, fresh dairy from Daya Family Farm. Welcome to Killima. I wanted to have, also wanted to have your mail. Also wanted you to have your mail. I have mail. I literally just materialized like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Twice a day, every day, rain or shine, six in the morning and six at night. So I think it's safe to say my jobs are about getting a, a my job is about to get a lot more interesting. You like getting mail? You look like someone who would like getting mail. I love getting mail. You don't know how many amazing things. Tr this, Aoni, I don't think you understand who you're talking to. I once slept for over a hundred years and then checked all the mail that I got in that time after that and made like over a million dollars. I don't think, Chloe probably loves mail more than anybody else on this entire continent, on this entire planet. Mm -hmm. I love getting mail so much. Go check it out. It's your first mail delivery ever. And, and plus one milk as well. You're so kind to me. Open my mailbox, please. Einar. Dear Chloe, I've been informed by Gina that you have emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. What a great sentence. This is wonderful news. Happy day of mist birthing to you, new human. Don't love that. Other humans call me Einar, and I would like to share with you the joy of fishing. Einar! You're my new best friend already. Wait. Makeshift rod acquired, Willy? It's robot Willy. Einar, my beloved. I shall be located at the pier for the next few millennia. All right, we should be able to make it in time for, for our next challenge then. Please take this rod. Seek me out at your nearest convenience. It's located near the pier, so we just have to find the pier. That's definitely my next, my next task. To whom it may concern, City Hall requires to send these letters to new residents. You will find a bow and a set of arrows in the attached package. City Hall also requires me to tell you that I am available to tutor you to, to tutor you in their use. During work hours, you can find me in Kilima Village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. A man who respects his own time I can and gets right to the point, I can respect it. We got a whole recipe for, for that. Okay. We got some arrows and we got a bow. Done. Mark is red. Einar, Mark is red. We got it. No more messages. How are you doing, by the way, Aoni? How, like, how are you? How are you? I don't want to just. I don't want to just think of you as you know, my mail delivery guy. How are you settling in? This plot is huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. I found an ancient tube. My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our in our yard last week. But all I seem to find are rocks. Does a weird glowing tube count? Or I found this strange. I'm gonna go. Does a weird glowing tube count? Have I figured out what it does yet? Nope. Gina might know. That was going to be my honest hunch, actually. His dialogue is so great. Every Everything is so great so far, as far as, like, the characters go. Let's see if she's found something like this before. I brought You brought a present? These people are so nice! Oh my gosh, a Bug Scout's official belt. 
and a set of smoke bombs too. What on earth? This dude's giving me like like bomber squad energy from Majora's Mask. The the little kids that run around. I'm a member of Killima's best and only bug catching club. Also, kind of uh, what's his name from from Wednesday on Netflix? Kind of giving me those vibes too. I gotta I gotta run now, but if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. You should talk to my dad, Badru, to learn how to grow food. And Reth, who works at the inn, can teach you how to cook it. Great tutorialization so far. Bug catching is quite fun in this Let's game. Talk tomorrow. Let's talk tomorrow. All right. My inventory is looking a little stacked right now. I got some milk, but it's grayed out currently. Milk is plus 15 f bonus points. Don't cry. If you get more, if you spill it. Standard smoke bomb. Is there a bug bugging you? Use the smoke bomb to catch it. Okay. Can do. Eugene from Wednesday. You're absolutely right. Yeah, I know. That's, that's exactly who I was thinking of. We got all our tools here already. Makeshift belt. A starter belt for bug catching. All right. Well, let's store the stuff I don't currently need. Like this milk. I don't know if it's safe to just store milk in a chest like this. It's fine in Stardew. I'm going to hope it's fine in Palea as well. Um, put all this... Oh, do I have to, like... Wait, how do I put the whole... Okay, you right-click to put the whole stack in there. Um, put this away. Put all this away. I'll keep my morels for a little bit of energy restoration right now. Let's grab the ancient thing so we can bring it to Gina if we see her. Um, is there, like, an inventory, like, sort button? Like, Stardew? Or do I have to... Do I have to... Do I have to manually move stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm spoiled by Stardew in that regard, but I would it would be nice to see it. Emotes. No point wave. Oh, man. I could, I could, I love pets. Wait. Sandy pal cat. Nocturnal pal. Where do I get the pal cats? I want a pal cat. It is my mission. Should I choose to accept it? I want to own a pal cat by the end of the stream. What on earth? There's pets in this game? No one told me. That's amazing. You have to buy something with IRL money to get a cat? No. There's got to be pets you can get without actually having to pay for them. There, there simply must be. I refuse to believe otherwise. There must be some free pets. Maybe they're not as cool or as readily accessible as the, as the premium pets. There has to be. Microtransactions. I mean, it's just the way of MMOs. That's kind of just the standard the standard of MMOs. You get to play for free, but a lot of stuff can be locked behind, like, premium content. So, it's to be expected to a certain degree. I'm just ra gathering all the morels that I can for potential energy usage. Also, I don't know how much the day-night cycle matters in this game yet. Like, I don't know if I'm going to, like, get exhausted or anything like that. Or if I can just, like, go as long as I've still got energy to go. I don't know. Very generous little plot. Whoa, look at that place. That's, that's a freaky looking mountain. It looks like there was like a... Like an asteroid or something that impacted that mountain. I love... I, I, I love me some environmental storytelling. What is... That, that moon is like a spotlight. Do you see that? That's crazy. No passing out, don't worry. Good to know. You don't, you don't need to sleep. If I don't need to sleep, why do I need a tent? Alright. Um... Can I just put away, like, my tools? Like, entirely? I just don't want her to be, like, holding a, holding an axe wandering around at all times. I have a whole little... I have a little fishing hole all to myself. Well, let's go back into town and see if we can... I, I would love to go find Einar on the pier and learn something about fishing. I would love to find Gina. I'd love... There's so many different things. So many different things we can do. Message your friends by selecting Whisper in chat. Only ma matters for villagers going to bed and your farm. Oh my gosh. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I'm, be I'm being inundated. Welcome from the dev team. Thank you very much. Singularity6, the makers of Palea. As a new startup studio, we're excited to have you have you found your way to Palea. I can't it can't live without players like you giving it a chance. You're I, I love the vibe. The energy. This is this is this is like exclamation point optimism the game right now. I'm loving this. This is so perfect. All right, understood. Thank you. Ask Gina about the strange artifact. Talk to Bodru to learn about the garden, and talk to Reth to learn how to cook. 
But what about Einar, though? Einar, my beloved, where are you? I need to, I need to go find... Alright, I mean, let's check the map real quick. Let's see what, what kind of stuff we got going on here. Library. So most people are asleep right now, which is understandable. It is very late. But maybe that's the perfect time to go visit Einar, because he's a robot, right? He probably does not sleep. I have to imagine it's down at the lagoon over there. Gillyfin Cove. Badru and Auni. Unmet villagers. To Bahari Bay, chop across. There's so much. That's my that's that's my housing plot right there. Do not steal. T is the hotkey for remoting. Thank you. That's I'm gonna get a lot of mileage out of that. I think. Whispering Banks. I'm gonna go to Fisherman's Lagoon. I think, and see if I can I can hunt down, Einar. Let me. Is that? I'm I'm having a tough time. I'm I'm so I'm so bad with directions to be honest with you. Southeast, right? Southeast was the way. All right, true test of falling damage. I don't even know if I have health in this game right now. So, hello. What the heck? Wait, I want I want a pet. Be my pet. Get back here. I want you to be my pet forever and always. Oh, you son of a gun. Wait. I thought oh, I thought he was I thought I could still see his tail poking out of there. That is an animal you hunt? No, I want to pet it. Always. Can you pet the chinchampas? Love in the nighttime vibe as well. Wait, so so if I, so there's animals that I can hunt. I have my bow. Equip and hold the bow. Equip the bow and hold that to draw an arrow. Remember to arc the arrow to hit farther targets. They've got arrow drop in this game. Creatures will flee if you miss or are unable to fell them in a single hit. Chasing creatures is an integral part of hunting. At higher hunting levels, you'll be able to choose for more powerful arrows. Press right-click to open the ammo bag. Click your preferred ammo and select it. I've only got one ammo right now. I'm glad that it's not like something I have to keep in my inventory at all times. There's like a whole ammo bag. Alright. I did not bring my arrowheads with me. No ammunition in inventory. Wait, maybe I do have to have them then. Okay, I guess I can go back and get my arrows. I didn't realize I put them away. I thought, I thought they were like in their own separate thing. That's my bad. What the heck? <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, he it's Hecla. How are you doing, Hecla? Apologies if I appear distracted. I was just playing mental chess with Einar, and we seem to be close to a conclusion. Can you introduce me to Einar, please? Chat with Hecla. Gina and I must return home to make sure she gets her requisite rest. I'll, I guess I'll catch up with her in the morning and see about uh, and see about that ancient artifact then. Purple, hello, welcome on in. Good to see you as well. Bex, everybody who's joining in. Sorry, I'm, I'm not really looking at, ch at chat as much as I normally do, just because I'm so enamored by this game already. But I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. It's it's a great time. And I hope to I hope to perhaps run into some of you in Palea. But for now, I need to go find my arrows. Let's see, open open it up. Um, my air makeshift arrow. A simple arrow that deals low damage. I thought these were just, like, arrow heads that I would have to craft. That's my bad. These are these are the actual whole arrows. Okay, so now I should be able to, to hunt if I so desire. Slash is auto movement, and you can use the mouse to control the character. Press shift if, if you want to run. So slash is auto movement. What does auto movement mean? Does it mean, like... I'll just, like, follow the path. Slash is auto movement. Oh I, oh, I see what you mean. Okay, so I don't have to, like, hold W to run. I understand. That's a, that's a pretty good tip. I don't know how much I'm going to use that. I kind of like using the WASD to control. The Harbinger. Man, that sounds like a, like a happy-go-lucky character. I'd love to be friend. Ooh. Oh, I didn't see didn't see that, that bug. Hold on. How do I toggle? Toggle my auto movement? All right. Sundrop Lily. That's mine now. Alright, I saw that bug, but I think he's gone. Is there a way to, like, I can just slow walk with a control? Okay, that was that was very intuitive. Oh. Bug. Wait, can I get this bug? Can we catch the bug? Press and hold right click, left click to start aiming. Arc your shot to intercept the insect. Practice good timing. When an insect is hit by a smoke bomb, 
They will attempt to break away. If they fail, they become dazed and they can be picked up off the ground. Rarer bugs have a higher chance to escape. No, my my, my grasshopper, Pepe Burger, why? Overwhelm your overwhelm them with additional catch attempts. You can cat, try catch them as they flee. Increase your skill to unlock new types of smoke bombs. Got it. Easy. It's like catching a Pokemon. So that that uh, Pepe Burger stole my grasshopper. Which is a sentence that exists in the English language. Let's let's mine some ore here, if I can. I can. I don't need an upgraded pickaxe for this. What do we got here? You think it's copper? It's gotta be copper, right? Seven copper ore and a large shiny pebble? Hold on, what's that? A giant shiny pebble with an unusual sheen. Maybe someone would want this. Item cannot be sold. Interesting. I will cross that bridge when I come to it, I suppose. I see some form of a deer over there. Maybe this is my time to, to learn hunting now that I actually have the arrows proper. All right. Pepe Burger, no. Wait, Pepe Burger, are you my friend? All right, you, you can, you can... All right, fair enough. I don't know whether to trust Pepe Burger or not yet. They seem like they're just trying to trying to figure things out much like I am right now. There's more copper ore. I'm not going to That was your paragliding. Where's my paraglider? I can I'm going to unlock that very soon, I'm sure. Is it going to be like Breath of the Wild where you just unlock that at the end of the tutorial? I'll be very very excited. What do we got here? Can I not read this this signpost? Unfortunate. All right, I'm looking for Einar still. We're very close to the Fisherman's Lagoon. I got to go to the southeast from here. That's northeast, southeast this way. Okay, perfect. Let the get the glider through some questing. I figured as much. Yeah, this is a whole little like fishing hamlet here. What's going on? Why is there no one else here? Oh no, Ad Adma von Beckenstein is here. Got a, a message board. Loving it. Is that a Spectrier on there? Hello? Hello? Can we get some frog emojis in chat? Oh, <laughs> he, he opens up! Look at him! I, I don't know what it's for, but I don't need to. This is, this is, I am so easily entertained. Look at this, look at this little frog, happy frog dude. He's the best. Alright, Einar. Einar gotta be around here somewhere. Read. While working for a snob like Esh is enough to make anyone cry, I have a recipe that is sure to put tears in the eye of any chef who isn't who, of any chef who isn't so unfortunate. First, you must find a tender young paleon onion, then chop the un. Uh oh. They chopped the onion, and that was the end of their life. That's that's an unfortunate way to go out. Mabula by Rostris. You just caught an amazing red fish, and you have a you have a cat. You have a cat. I'm jealous. I'm very jealous, Mandula. Alright, Einar. He's gotta be around here somewhere, right? He said he's by the pier. Maybe he is not here at night. Can I swim, by the way? That that would be a no. That's gonna be a big no on that one. <laughs> okay, wait, am I trapped forever? Can I climb this? All I need is happy frog, dude. You're so it's so true. I guess I'm just, I'm just, all right. Well, this was Paleo, everybody. No, there's got, there's a way off here, surely. Can I, can I sprint jump this? Ooh, oh baby. All right, you can just make that nice. Not bad, not bad. I am a, I'm a platformer at heart and those skills are coming out in the strangest of places. Gel, hello. Oh, I saw you, I remember you from the trailer, sir. An artist's work is never done, but perhaps conversing with you shall give me some much-needed inspiration. Why are you out here by the fishing pond at 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. or whatever it is? <laughs> I mean, I guess you'd ask the same of me. After work, I like to take long walks in nature to look for inspiration. He actually answered my question, though. Holy. After all, no one artist is greater than the dragon himself. Oh, you're still here? Uh, dude, we just finished talking. Of course I'm still here. <laughs> 
short-term memory. Is there something glowing here? Is this a... What do we got? Crystal Lake Lotus. I'll take one of those, please. Oh! Chat. Yeah, we got our first, our first creature. Okay, I missed. That's fine. I don't know how fast these arrows go. Oh! Not felled in one hit. Can I, can I catch you? Do you think I can catch it? Okay, it's, it's, it's stopped for the time being. I got a chance here. Hello? Oh, don't see me. Don't see me. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. No. No! Dude, fire! <laughs> Aw, oh, man. The choppas are much easier than the deer imp. I'm assuming that was a deer imp that I was hunting. It was it was extremely deer-like. Ooh, what's that? There's a whole chest down here. I found four flour, two cooking oil, and pirate treasure chests. Excuse me? An empty treasure chest from your travels. Empty. What can I do with an empty treasure chest? It can't be sold. Can I just use it as my own personal storage? That's kind of pog. I kinda, I'm kind of here for this. Crystal Lake Lotus is named after the lake where it was discovered and is now used to make dyes. Clothing customization options incoming. Cooking oil. If you need perfectly brown food, oil always be here for you. Oil always be here for you. They got the dad jokes in here. When baking, do not forget to use plenty of flour. It's a game after my own heart. Oh, I, I keep I keep missing the bugs because I keep like like wait I guess I haven't missed the bug yet. Wait, it's still here. I, it's not like Animal Crossing where they just like run away forever. Hold on a sec. Okay, he ran away forever. Um, awkward. Oh, butterfly. Wait, that's a butterfly. Hold on a minute. Standard smoke bomb. Butterfly. You look like a rare butterfly, I'm not gonna lie. Will you escape? Yo, we got it! Common blue butterfly! <laughs> Let's go! The rare common blue butterfly. First first bug successfully captured. I am a little concerned, by the way. Einar told me that he would be here for the next few millennia, and he's not here. Has that much time truly passed? Or am I at the wrong pier? Onion and sprout saute and saute in butter with equal parts garlic and spice sprouts. Once the mixture is fragrant, soak in water to create rich broth. New recipe discovered. I'll take it. Leona Blossom. Hello. Leona? Hello. Are you also looking for Einar? Leona. No, wait, no. Come back, my friend. I was, I was trying to chat her. I was trying to ask her if she knows where Einar is. Oh, she died. I did much the same thing. Leona. Do you know where I can find Einar? Hello. Do you think do you think she's do you think she's typing an answer to me or do you think she's No, she did not did not hear me potentially? Le Leona, I will I will, do you, I can give you what my crystal lake blossom my cri Do you want my Crystal Lake Blossom? I will part with it if you will tell me where Einar is. I just need to find my fishing buddy. Hold on a second. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button for that. Need this common blue butterfly real quick. We got it. That's a dragonfly, too. But the dragonfly is now gone. Einar is on the dock. Is that not the dock? Did I am I just, like, super dumb and blind? He's there. Sundrop Lily again. Emerald Carpet Moss. He thought, he thought I was going to smoke bomb. He is right there! Wait, he wasn't here before. Chat, he wasn't here before? Either, either that or he blends in extremely well. You, have something you, want. you seem to be another new person. That's me. That's what everyone's calling me. Unless I haven't previously made your acquaintance, in which case my apologies for forgetting you. <laughs> that's so... That's a, that's a vibe, honestly. 
I am often too distracted by my oneness to take notice of meeting such thing of such things as meeting new people. This dude is a Giga Chad. Probus? And there seems to be so many new people lately. What is the oneness? Silly human. The oneness is merely the oneness. So how could I be so dumb? My apologies for such a silly question. The oneness cannot be learned by listening to the sound of air. Wait. Can we, cannot be learned by listening to the sound of air as it moves through your fa through your face flaps. It must be experienced. For me, that experience usually involves much fishing. I got your letter. Dot, dot, dot. You must have received my communications regarding the beloved pastime of fishing. I understand it is customary for tutelage to require work that one does from home. I know there is a word for it, but I cannot re quite, quite recall what it is. He's funny. This guy's got jokes. But he doesn't even know he has jokes. Why don't you give that fishing rod on your person a try? I shall be here in case you accidentally fall in. Where were you ten minutes ago, Einar? Chat with Einar, absolutely. River fish include golden salmon, smallmouth bass, and freshwater eels. You might also catch, catch a spare boot now and then. This is this. He kind of looks like a horror monster all of a sudden when he leans in like that. I'm scared. All right. Now that I have received the requisite fishing tutorial from Einar. It's fishing time, baby. Hold on, I gotta get my, my buttons. I gotta get used to this. Hold down left left mouse button to set the distance of your cast. When the circle reaches your target, release left mouse button. Got it? Allow the fish to nibble on the line before setting the hook. Wait for a big bite. When you see a large splash, set the hook by pressing and holding left mouse button. Move the mouse left and right and aim the reticle at the fish. To aim, to aim the reticle at the fish. When the fish is outside the reticle, it turns, turns red and can damage your line. What is that? That's It's the Kraken? Einar is dateable? No shot. Be ready to... It would be too perfect of a game if Einar was dateable. Hold down left to reel in the line. Only reel when you had the fish centered on the reticle. I got it. When the fish is outside the reticle, release... Left mouse button to stop reeling. Recenter the fish by moving. Okay, I think I understand. It was a lot of words, but I think I understand what's going on here. Fish me? Okay, we wait for a big splash. We're going to successfully catch our first fish in Paleo. No question about it. Alright. That was not the big splash. Okay, I need to wait for a big splash, not just a mere nibble. I understand. Mission already failed. We can do it. I can check who's dateable in the relationship tab. The hotkey is L. Alright, they're nibbling. He's nibbling. He's, he's, we got... Okay. Alright. Reel me? Re reel me. He's... We're reeling. Oh, this is... Wait. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. I caught one gilly fin. Perfect catch new fish. I, I'm a god. I'm a god of fishing. The fishing skills translate from Stardew to to Palea as well. Let's go. Gillyfin caught. That was a small splash. That one was, and that was that was a very large splash. I have crafted many adornments made from fishing implements. I find them quite aesthetically pleasing. Me too. But I do sometimes wonder if I'm only if I'm the only being who feels this way. No, Einar. What do you think of my adornments? They're very you. They're charming, absolutely. This oh my <laughs> chat, no. Why is he so cute? Why is he so cute? I shall remember you find my adornments charming. By I caught a fish, Einar. I caught a gilly fin. I hope you are able to experience the same joy I derived during such events. Absolutely. My time with humans taught me your kind derives li limited utility from living fish. Perhaps this is more suitable reward for your efforts. I do hope you will choose to continue this wonderful activity in the future. He's got something for me. A grilled fish and plus plus thumbs ups with Einar. Einar will remember that. He's so cute. Looks like your inventory is full. Extra items are stored in overflow for a limited time to help you manage your inventory safely. Eventually, items in overflow are destroyed or replaced by new ones. Treat a full inventory seriously. That is a really interesting way to do that. I don't think I've ever seen a game that, that does inventory like that. They really want me to empty my inventory. So I've got a ghillie fin. This is a... Wait, this is a white square. <laughs> Yo, ghillie fin. What a, what a great looking fish. I've never seen a fish quite like this. The most common fish in Palea. 
Palea is truly a, a magical and wonderful place. And a grilled fish. Grilled fish on a fire and you've got food. Alright, we should head home then to try and, uh, mute, wait, community name. We can build a community. Quests, learning the ropes, map. Wait, so can I, I can fast travel home, maybe? Return home, return to your housing plot. They got me. Appears to be lack of an image. <laughs> no, I think, I think it was meant to be a white square for sure. All right, let's return home and clear the inventory out a little bit. Looking for love? If you're good friends with a villager, give a villager some chocolates. Maybe love will bloom. You can romance them in this game. I don't know. Would Einar like chocolate? I think there's a chance. All right, let's let's put some stuff away. So I don't have anything in overflow right now, I don't think. I believe I just have a full inventory, which is why they're telling me to, to put stuff away. All right, put away my emerald carpet moss. Put Just put away, like, everything. Pirate treasure chest, I still have no earthly idea. Maybe I can put that down. I'll try that. Keep the grilled fish. Like, the food is good to keep. This is all good to keep. Put the resources away. I kind of want to keep the large shiny pebble. I'm not sure to what end it's going to be good. Purchase a lockbox from Tish's store. And I can I can sort them by this. Okay, that's good to know. Ghost with Bow. I'm having a great time with Palea so far. If you'd like to join me in my adventure through Palea, there's a link to, the ga to download the game and set it up in the description below. It's completely free to get going, and you can, uh... And you can start your own Palean adventure. Alright, let's... So can I... Can I... Yeah, okay. Fishing treasure chest. It's just... Is it a decor decoration? Is it merely a decoration? My first decoration. Yeah, I can't use it for anything. Alright. We've, we've got a... We've got an aesthetic... We've got a start to our aesthetic. We're going, like, old-timey Fisher aesthetic. Yo, Lid, congratulations on getting perfection in Stardew. That is a huge accomplishment. Takes a lot of time. <laughs> Trust me, I know from experience. Even if you're not doing a challenge run, it very much takes a lot of time. Big congrats to you. Get some get some party poppers in chat for Lid for completing perfection. Perhaps for the first time, I don't know, but either way. That's a big win. Alright, let's try and fish in this pond here. I want to see what's like if anything's catchable here. Or if this is just for pure aesthetic joy. There's something. There's something here. It might just be a boot. But we're, we're going to give it a whirl. New gilly, new gilly fin? Another gilly fin. We got to keep trying for the perfect catch. We're never going to get a non-perfect catch. A mud minnow. Mud minnow has been acquired. Wait, it's so cute. Look at this in the inventory. Mud minnow. A common minnow known for its muddy-looking color. Found in ponds without using any bait. Value 23 gold. That sounds like a lot, but it probably isn't because it's so common, right? That's huge. Mud minnow. Wait, what about this little pond? Do you think there's a chance? Chad, do you think there's a chance? Wait. No, I don't want to... Back, back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Unsuccessful. <laughs> New emotes. We got we got Argon Homie, we got Argon Gold, and we got uh, some updated versions of, of previous emotes as well. Enjoy to your heart's content. Is it okay if we add you as a friend in Paleo? I don't know how that works yet, Annika, but I have no qualms about it. If you want to add me as a friend, then I will gladly accept. Einar sent me another letter! Dear Chloe, the other day my hook caught an odd fish that I realized was not a fish at all, but rather an old leather foot encasement. I put the encasement aside, and then I noticed a small bit of sun, of sun consuming life growing inside several days later. Its determination and newness to the world reminded me of you, so I gave it to Auni to deliver you via mail. He gave me a makeshift herb planter. I am in love. <laughs> Grow your own sweet leaf at home with this improvised planter. It conveniently has drainage holes. I don't know how to make this work. I should probably go do the garden tutorial before I actually mess with that at all. So I don't I don't want to accidentally ruin Einar's amazing gift. 
So let's just put it away for right now. And let's go do some more tutorials. Anyone else getting stream stutters? Were we, were we stuttering a little bit? There's a, there's a chance. I haven't, I haven't looked at OBS. I think we're still doing good, but... Richard Zephyrus. Hello. Let me just let me just make sure. Haven't noticed any pro every any problems. Everything's fine for you. I've got zero drop frames in OBS, so it might it might be on YouTube's end if there's anything, on YouTube end or possibly on on the viewer end. Hopefully we're all good. Occasionally, but it's not that bad. Yeah, hopefully it's a hopefully it's a good viewing experience. I want you to enjoy the the magic as much as I'm enjoying it so far. All right, let's go find like who's who's closest really. I mean, Auni, Ref. Auni's got something for me. Badru is way over there. Um, who's this? Hasian. You're you're one of my tutorial friends, right? Wait, where is where's Gina though? Is Gina back up at the Phoenix Falls? Ekla and Gina are over here at the Mirror Pond Ruins. Okay. Um, we'll we'll, do, we'll go do some tutorial stuff, and we'll, then we'll ask Gina about the strange artifact. When in doubt, blame YouTube. So true. Okay. Wait. So where was which which direction were you here? I'm sorry. I keep checking the map, but I'm terrible with directions. Let's go let's go this way and see if we can track down Hessian. He's got something for me. Via the exclamation point. Gotta be up this way, I think. It looks like he was walking the path. Happened a couple times for you, but refreshing fixed it each time. Hello, deer imp. Imp deer, whatever you might be. That's a that's a yellow exclamation point straight out of World of Warcraft. I got there's lots of people here. Ta Wait, oh my gosh, look at the... Is that Hacian's pet, Tao? Now? Or is that someone else? Chloe, I presume. Oh, you are you gave me the bow and arrow! Don't act stunned, I know your name. I know everything that goes on this, in this village, including when someone new arrives. My name is Hacian, and I'm in charge of maintaining natural order in the woods that surround the village. We get to the valley, and we will have no quarrel. I'm, I have I've ne never been anything but good to the valleys that I've inhabited in the past... Use nature poorly, and you'll find I know how to rid this village of all sorts of pests. Don't worry, I'm not one of those players that puts kegs all over Cindersat Forest and, and the desert and destroys the natural beauty of the world. Slow, pa Slowly pans to look at the camera. Slowly turns back. I got your letter, by the way. My what? He, he just sent, like, a generic letter, so he wouldn't know that I got it specifically, I guess. Those pretty written letters that City Hall had me sign. Oh, there, that makes sense, then. My mother is the town's blacksmith. A simple bow like that is easy is an easy supply. It takes years to learn proper hunting. Start by aiming that bow at something like those choppas or a cernuk. Maybe you will even manage to hit your target. You sure do talk a lot. Hunt one of the following. A choppa or a cernuk. Wait, Tao though. I can just chat with Tao. Oh my gosh. Tao? You're my new best friend. Just kidding. I mean, I, I no one can replace Einar yet. Einar is definitely top tier. But I mean, Tao, look at look at this little dude. Wow, we you get some get some puppy emojis in chat. A woof. Give me your paw or woof woof. I'm gonna go woof woof. Arf arf pant arf. I think that was a good interaction. I think I think we were success successfully befriending Tao. Okay, I'm looking for a Choppa or a Cernuk. Choppa or Cernuk. It would be great if I knew what either of those things looked like. But I'm assuming there's going to be one around here somewhere eventually. So let's just let's just wander. I mean, it looks like he was like is there is there like a foresty area? Maji's Hollow, Dragon Shrine. That sounds interesting. Let's go check out the Dragon Shrine. Why not? There might even be some some choppas nearby. Ooh, hello, ominous. There's some. There's like incense burning here too. Very interesting. Very soothing. And this is the whole Dragon Shrine, I assume. 
Would it be in bad taste to go hunting near the dragon shrine? I'm just starting to realize that might not be in my best interest. Wow. Look at this. Inspect. A shrine to the great dragon. I've heard much about this dragon. Well, I've heard a little bit about this dragon. It was literally the first line in the game was, Oh, my dragon. And then someone else was also talking about the dragon. Game is so beautiful. I know, it's actually, like... It's, it's got me enraptured so much right now. Choppas look like chunky squirrels. I heard something. Was that a bug or was that a choppa? I think I saw one choppa in the past, and I wanted to try and pet it. And in as in the resulting chase, the Looney Tunes esque chase, it escaped from my from my from my visual periphery. Is this just a rock or is this a separate ore? I think that's just a rock. Oh. That's is that this might be a Cernuk? I don't know. Someone in chat earlier called it a like a deer imp. But maybe that's just like a nickname. We got some we got something here we can try and hunt though. Okay. Chase, chase. We give chase. Don't let it out of your sight. Don't let it out of your Okay, it's out of my sight. That's fine. Wait, there it is. There it is. Okay, it's fine. We can catch up. We can still catch up. I don't want to stay too close, though, is the thing. I, I, it's, it's scared. It's understandably very scared. I've never been that big a fan of hunting in games because I feel bad, but if it's part of the game, I'm going to do my best to make take advantage of it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. Hunt hunting completed. Cernuk has been slain. Cernuk antlers hide and Cernuk meat. Right in the heart. It takes So Cernuk takes two arrows. Maybe one arrow if you're, like, good. Alright, so now I need to find Haseon again. Where did Haseon get off to? Haseon is... Not too far away, just a little bit to the west. Uh, west. Oh, he's right. He's on. He's actually on my compass. Wait, grasshopper. It's it's right. I gotta catch up to Hostian. We'll have time for bug catching later. Uh oh. Okay, not deep water. Saved. Hostian gotta be up this way. This kind of stuff is nice to have a couple of players working together. I could see that. That would be that would be pretty good. Adari, how are Talking you doing? To me? Yeah, I'm talking to you, buddy. You're back. I never left. Najuma don't come to town much. Don't don't come into town much. Think of all the noise. Think all the noise and people overwhelm her. Najuma. I don't think I've met Najuma yet. When he said Najuma don't come to town much for a second, I thought he was talking about like like a certain like type of people. But Najuma, it would seem to be an actual just like name of a person. Casual gamer, welcome on in. I'm having a great time, and I hope everyone else is also enjoying the, the experience so far. Why have you returned? Do you think I would praise you for a job well done? Didn't you literally tell me to come back to you, or am I tripping? It is every Paleon's duty to help maintain the balance of nature. In the interest of perpetuating that balance, I am obligated to give you this. Cernuk have been a traditional source of meat for generations in Kilima. But Chapas are not natural to this environment. They overpopulate and destroy natural wildlife and vegetation. If you truly want to help our community, you will help eradicate this threat. Got it. So Choppa, we, we hunt down Choppas because they are an invasive species. I'm, I'm sure any further contact can be conducted over mail. This dude is definitely romanceable. There's a hun there's a there's a zero percent chance this man is not romanceable. What do I like to do for fun? I like to be left alone with my thoughts. Giving off serious Sebastian energy. Perhaps you should learn more. Learn to become more comfortable with solitude yourself. My business. Sebas Sebastian and Shane, honestly. New Shane. Yeah, Shane is probably a more more accurate fit. This meeting could be an email. I mean, he's not wrong, is the thing. Alright. Learning the ropes. Let's go talk to... I think Reth is the closest one. We got we gotta find Badru and we gotta find Reth. Reth is right there. Badru is, like, way out here, right? Yeah. So let's go talk to Reth, try and get a cooking tutorial out of the way, maybe. I am I am a fan of cooking, and I feel like it's going to be very important for the future of, uh, of Chloe Castle. This meeting could be a fax. Reth, how are we doing? What's up? Wow, 
You scared me? I, I did walk in wielding a bow and arrow. <laughs> I thought you might be the magistrate. I, I want to ask, like, what the heck's the magistrate? That's interesting. Can you teach me to cook, though? You gotta learn to walk before you can swim. Unless, you, unless you're a fish, but I'm like 97% sure you're human. He doesn't know. Why don't you start out by making a campfire for your place? Once you start grilling up shrooms like a champ, we'll get you started on the complicated stuff. No making bread for me yet. You want to be stuck in a tent for the rest of your life? Probably a good idea to talk to Kenley next. He's the mayor, but I won't judge either way. Give me a chat. I might also suggest the fish stew. It give you the extra boost you need to reel in the perfect catch. Uh -oh. it's, wait, it's actually it's fish stew from Stardew Valley? Did it give me a fishing buff? Hello, Ignat. So we got to craft a campfire back at home. But while we're out and about, let's go talk to Badru to learn about uh, gardening first. <coughs> That way we can head home and, and partake in both gardening and cooking all at once by chance. Linus would be accepted here. This, this this seems like a paradise for someone like Linus. Absolutely. Is the lore here that I'm the only human? I materialized out of a void, and I believe I'm the first m human to appear in a very long time. Well, actually, I think they said a lot of humans have been appearing lately, aka all the other players. How you doing? It's been a hard day. Nice to meet you, Chloe. Nothing a good chinwag can't cure. Why is every character so good? All they these the uh, Singularity Six, I believe, is the name of the company. You guys know how to make characters around these parts. I'm, I'm hooked every single time I meet somebody. Delilah, I'm wait. I'm Delilah, but I'm Delilah. Is this intentional? Or is this, uh... <laughs> Mother to Aoni and Naoi, wife to Badru. And I'm the boss of this here farm, if you don't mind me saying so. If you ever need a fresh pint, fresh pint of milk or a couple of eggs, be sure to give me a holler. Sure thing, Marnie. If you get a chance to stop by the stable, could you tell Nayo that he needs to wear his sunscreen? <laughs> Working outside all day is likely to burn the boy magenta. The Hardy, hard, hard. Wait, is, is, this, is this where Thanos comes from? All these people do have purple skin. All the players are the ones that materialized out of nowhere. All right, Badru, I think he was over here, right? Yeah. Hello. Howdy, Sproutling. I'm a Sproutling. Yes, I am a Sproutling. He's got such bright eyes. Look at this man. I love his. I love his beard too. He's got the nice little sort of like white chin stripe right there. Everyone's so nice. Everyone here is nice except for Hasian. Which is going to draw a lot of people to him, I think. Is he wearing an ocarina around his neck, or is that something else? Is this, If it isn't another friend I haven't met yet. I'm Badru the farmer, and, a sense, and I sense we have some good times ahead. Ho, ho, ho. Did I mention that in addition to farming, I also do stand-up comedy? And you know, you could, you could workshop that one a little bit. That's a, That joke's a little bit played out, but I respect the effort. You've come to the right place if you put if you care it about fresh quality produce. How many? What percentage of this man's lines are going to be jokes? Do you think? What percentage? I'm I'm giving him a, a solid forty percent. Have a good one there, Jelly. Thanks for hanging out. Honestly, I'm impressed to see you after see you going after what you want. If I had that kind of gumption, maybe I'd be doing more with my life than just making ends meet. Farming life's great, especially if you love the smell of of Ormu manure in the morning. Hmm? <laughs> you know what? I Maybe I could learn. Maybe I could learn from you, Badru. Tell you what, meet me on your plot later, and I'll walk you through the steps. Looks like you're ready to swing by Kenley. He is the mayor, so we'll set you up with a new house. I can't. I just built a tent literally last night, and there were, and everyone's already like, you. Uh -huh. it's time for you to get a house. You've been living in that tent too long. It's been almost 12 hours, Chloe. What are you doing without a house? It's hard to be mad at life when the sky looks like this, don't you think? Look at that cloud. What do I think it looks like? Can I pan up? I need to see. Um, an adorable Ormu, a head of lettuce, a cloud, or the feeling of tranquility. I'm going to go adorable Ormu for sure. Looks like an Ormu who needs to lay off the feed. Let's make like bananas and peel out. <laughs> Wait, I want to talk to him again. I want to hear another joke. For some seeds? Care it was the, the voice actor that he had so much fun. Happy trails. No, it's another what joke, please. Wait, tell me tell me again. Looking forward to our next roundup. Oh, he's just nice. Alright. I need that butterfly though, real quick. I think that's another common blue butterfly. 
Ya. New butterfly acquired. Well, old, 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 what is old is new? What is old is new again? Wait, is that a chupa over there? I thought I saw something like red. There's something there. I feel like that's not a bug either. I feel like that's a, that's an animal. Are you a chupa? You look potentially chupa-like. I mean, you, you, you died in one hit. You're not as, as strong as the Cernuk. It's a Choppa! Choppa! I was saying Chupa, like a like a darn fool. All right, we got to go find uh, Kenley, I think, for... Let's go, let's go see about this house. Although, I'm, I'm very... I am still very curious. Is... Let's see, is... Oh, wait, is, uh... What's her name? I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time keeping track of the names now. My friend, my first friend. Uh, Gina, Gina, I need to I need to find Gina and ask about this strange artifact. I don't know where Gina went off to though. Hodari, like Gina, she was up here near the Mirror Pond ruins. Maybe she went into the Phoenix Falls again. Maybe she went somewhere else. Luisa is over there. Hodari, like I don't see Gina all here right now. She must, maybe, she must be in the falls. That's where she is doing all her, all her, like, projects and stuff. Where, literally where we first met her, so. Alright, well, we can stop by Kenley on the way, then. And see about, uh, getting a house or something like that. Ash, have I met you the yet? I, I, is never done. Oh, you're the magistrate. Okay, I mean, I've been, I've, I've heard vaguely about you. This village is practically becoming overrun. I'm sure you want to talk to me about securing a housing permit. I actually want to talk to your husband, I think, maybe? Oh. It's nice to want things. <laughs> I want the crown jewels of Aquindu, but you don't see me prancing around in a tiara. This is like Haley, grown up. If you need it grown up, but she never, like, met Chloe. If you need, if you need someone to hold your hand, talk to my dim-witted husband. Please only disturb me if you have important matters to discuss. Why are you trying to keep me company? Do you think of me as some frail old woman who can't even go for a walk on her own? Alright, I'm never talking to you again. Let's go find, uh, let's go find her dim-witted hus husband, as she says, aka the nicest man I've yet to meet. The nicest mayor I've yet to meet, anyway. Corella ex Yzma? That's pretty on, that's pretty on point, to be honest. Alright, oh, Gina is out here somewhere, actually. I can see, I can see her on my compass now. Are you upstairs? You might be upstairs. Wait, hold on, I'm just breezing past your beautiful foyer. Kenyatta, hello. I should probably check in with reception before I just go waltzing up there, huh? Stand there. Hi, I guess. If you're looking for my dad, he's in the office in the back. If you're looking for my mom, can I ask you why? Because <laughs> I would highly recommend you don't. Oh, don't worry, I've had, I've had my introduction already, and I can, you know, I can empathize. Very nice art. Wait, is that Windfall Island right there? Something between McGonagall and Corella Deville. All right, um, he's up here. There he is. All right, there he is, right in the office here. Can I? Do I sit down? Like I'm having a meeting for the, with the principal. I don't want to. I don't want to take up my bow and arrow. I guess I'll just go Have around here. Good to see you. He's so jolly. I wanted to ask you about getting a house, mostly because other people told me to ask you about getting a house. Well, personally, I inherited mine. Have you tried that? <laughs> uh, I want to build my own. Of course, because you've just moved in. The plot didn't come with one. Afraid not? I had to build a whole tent? I'm sure I have the paperwork around here somewhere? Uh-oh. Go find Tish, our resident carpenter. I'm sure she'd be... Okay, she... I, I met Tish. She was, like, one of the first people I, I encountered in town. I can do that. I'm a bit busy applying my seal to the documents Eshe has given me to approve. I'm too famished to keep talking. I'm too famished to keep talking. What a what a Chad. Have you tried having a rich family? We got over here. City Hall storage room. I need a key to enter. Rude. Kenley's records room. Probably also need a key to enter that one. Okay, fair enough. I'll take the back door out. Oh hello. Rudzia. Alright. 
Uh, talk to Tish. So I need to find Tish and G Gina. You know what? This this mysterious ancient thing is burning a hole in my pocket. And Gina was my first friend that I made here. So I feel like I need to follow up on this. Let's go find Gina. Health and safety. Opening an umbrella indoors. I think I think pulling out a bow and arrow is slightly worse than opening an umbrella indoors. I guess it depends where you're doing it, but... Alright. Is that Gina right there? Gina and Hecla, they're never far apart, it would seem. I'm always here to help. See, good to see you again. Did I get settled all right? I found something you might be interested in. What is it? I can't believe it. This ancient thing... This is an ancient flow battery! It definitely looked battery-like. I had a hunch. You say you just found this under, under some old junk? I guess I'm just lucky or must be fate. I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to take any credit for this. I'm just lucky on this one. Certainly my lucky day. Might take me a bit of time to figure out what it does. Send you a letter once I know something. Appreciate it. So beautiful out here, don't you think? I have to admit while I didn't pick my research location for a pict picturesque setting, it certainly has a bonus. You certainly could have picked worse. This is gorgeous. All right. Um, talk to Tish. Let's go, let's go talk to Tish, and then we can head home and do some, some more tutorializing. Also, new fishing pond. If I see, if I see a fishing hole that I have yet to fish in, you know I gotta at least check it out. I want, I gotta see if I'm just gonna get another, like, like, uh, gilly fin here, or a mud minnow, or, or what the heck. Gotta give it a try. She's giving Maru vibes, for sure. Oh, we got something. Wait for the big splash. Wait for the big splash. It's usually after like three so far is what it's been. All right, then. Oh, this one, this one's a little faster, I think. Maybe I'm... Oh, okay. Not going to be a perfect catch this time. That's all right. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just needs to be good enough. A little striped dace. Very good. I'm going to be the best fisher in all of Paleo before too long. You have a cat. I'm so jealous. I need to get a chat. You don't understand? You don't understand. I need a pet. Is Marnie going to wander around my home and eventually offer me one? Owny, how are you doing? Howdy. Might as well catch you. You got a yellow exclamation point for me. You got your belt and smoke bombs, right? Before we get started, you got to take the Bug Scout's Oath. Just repeat after me. All right, chat. Hand, hand over heart, other hands to the sky, and repeat. I promise to honor nature and all its creatures, to always lend others a helping hand, and most importantly, tell Alni if you see anything really cool. All right, I can get behind that. Pretty sure you made that last one up. No, I promise. Absolutely. Welcome to the Bug Scouts. Ev everyone, you're all honorary Bug Scouts now. Can we get some bug emojis in chat, please? Why don't you go try to catch something easy to start? I've already caught some some butterflies. Certain bugs will only come out at certain times. Makes sense. My family runs the farm farm down the road. We grow the biggest vegetables. My mom won blue ribbons at the fair like a million years in a row. The fair. Mm, gotta head home, Ooh. Did, they, did they have festivals in this game, do you think? They must, right? Is that Tish? Perfect timing. It is Tish. How are you liking Kilima? I'm, I'm loving Kilima. It is beautiful. Look at all those bugs you guys caught. Life in the valley is peaceful. Kenley sent me. Is that all you need to hear? Oh, what the heck was that? That was like a... <laughs> it was like a, a choppa. It's like a choppa on two legs. I'm so glad you're going to live here. I was trying to come up with a good welcome gift, and I realized that house is much of a home without furniture. So here's some simple recipe for you to start with. I, it's it's alright. I already got a great start with my old fishing treasure chest I found underneath the dock. If you're tired from all your hard work, why not build yourself a place to sit or a table to eat at? My friend Jell insisted I have a wardrobe, too. He's a tailor, and he always says you're looking best makes you feel your best. Great attitude. Even if there's something you can't make now, I'm sure inspiration will strike as soon as you start building. We got a lot of recipes. Tish is MVP. If you want to impress Esh, I would recommend dressing your house to the nines. I'm not particularly interested in impressing Esh, to be honest with you. Do you have any in insight into how I can impress Einar? Uh, not that... Not that it's not that it's bad necessarily, but I always like things to feel a bit more cozy, you know? I mean, Einar, Tish and Einar, absolutely my favorite so far, I think. every Everyone has a certain razzmatazz about them, but Tish and Einar are, are striking chords with me. 
like like I never would have expected. All right, let's make our way home because we have a lot of stuff to do at home. Return return to your housing plot available in 35 seconds. So you can only do that. That's like a home teleport you can only do every so often. Much like RuneScape. How are you doing, Hecla? It is my oneness to attend to the needs of others. How can I help you? It's like the, it's like the, the people have the dragon and the robots have the oneness. I wonder if they're like related in any way. I'm curious. I don't know if maybe it, maybe there's different things entirely, but it seems like a like a similar vibe there. I wonder if there's a book on juggling in this library. Wait, we're at a library? I have always wanted to learn to juggle as I it's a, I hear it brings much entertainment. That would be amazing. Hilary. Another interruption. Hilary? Oh no. <laughs> not a great not a great uh not a great first impression. Cooldown is IRL 30 minutes. Makes sense. Baymax. Another what newcomer, eh? Hmph. Perhaps you think this building looks friendly and inviting. Maybe you thought you could even borrow a book or, book or two. That's kind of what libraries are about, right? Incorrect! A paleon library... Oh, wait. A paleon librarian's job is not just to loan books out willy-nilly. No, she must also guard the knowledge within those sacred tomes. I don't know how... I don't know how they did things where you come from, but we paleons believe knowledge in the wrong hands can be disastrous. You may peruse the books marked for public use, but you won't see a drop of extra knowledge until I have properly vetted you. Now off you go. I am far too busy to keep coddling you. Chad, I kind of like her. She's, I mean, she's a steward of knowledge, and you know what? She understands. She fully understands that knowledge in the wrong hands can be bad. I can't, I can't even argue with that. Don't forget I'm watching you. If a book goes missing, I'll know who to blame. Try to be more respectful of my will you tell and Eloisa. What a joy it is to see you again. What a, what a, what a strange duo these two are. <laughs> With so many cryptids lurking around, I feel like somebody needs to log them. Wait, collect. there's a collection log in this game? There's a bestiary? Oh, Jean is here as well. Can I check out the books? Like, I know that she... I, wh where are the books marked for public use? Kenyatta, hello. How's it hanging? Oh. How you doing? Why are the hours ticking by so slowly today? Back to being bored. I mean, you're off your job now, and in theory, the hours should be going by a little faster. I'm looking for books marked for public use. I, I, I'm looking for just, just the public repository. I don't need anything fancy. I don't need to go to the restricted section or anything like that. I just, I just want to learn more about this place. Restrict. It literally is the restricted section. All right, well, I guess I'm... Wait, maybe this one? No, okay. Fair enough. You know what? Save books for another day. Readings for chumps. Haley, if she were a bookworm vibes? Actually, not that far off. Not that far off by any stretch. All right. Head back to the plot. I could have just teleported here, but I was close enough. I might as well save the... Save the teleport for the future when I might be further away. X to put tools away if I want. Rebecca, thank you very much. That's actually something I was trying to figure out. It's okay to take a break whenever you need. We'll still be here. I can't take a break now. You got you got your hooks in me. This game is is has trapped me. What is this, by the way? Is this a shipping bin? Sales bin. Coin purse running flat. Place items in the sales bin and they'll be sold soon. Okay. Next shipment in 25 minutes. I'm assuming it's like a shipment every hour or maybe like every 30 minutes or so. Items are picked up for sale each morning and evening. Oh, it's literally just like a full day cycle. You will get paid when you return home. Out in the town, shops will buy the same sort of items as they sell as long as it's business hours. Zeki's general store has the widest variety of things. We have yet to vi yet to find Zeki. I've been, I've been going everywhere around this town except the one place I need to, the general store. Oh, we have access to our storage here as well. That's super convenient. All right, well, I'm not going to sell anything yet because I don't know what I'm going to need in the future. Like this choppa fur. I'm just going to hold on to everything that I that I can for the time being. Uh, grilled fish I actually want to keep, I think. The striped dace I can put away. The antlers, the hide. Grilled meat. Hopefully I'll be able to grill my own meat pretty soon here. Okay, let's get the inventory set up a little bit nicely. I kind of want to do like this. Like these are my consumable things that I can use. I can move, can I move this over here? Have my food on this end and then there we go. I'm happy with that. 
pick up at six and, and six, just like the mail. Also, we do have, speaking of mail, Sifu, oh, Einar, this is the same one I read, I just didn't mark it as red. It's fine. Sifu, how you doing? Dear Chloe, apologies for my son's rudeness the other day. I wanted to let you know you are welcome in the valley, and if anybody says otherwise, they're going to have to go through me. As, well, as a welcome gift, I made this choppa skin rug with one of Hostian's pelts. Just the thing for a hunter like you to rest their weary feet on. Legend, makeshift choppa, choppa hide rug. Thank you very much. Don't worry, I'm sure uh, Hostian will come around to me eventually. Whether he likes it or not. Looking like a beaver. Alright, Badru, I'm sorry to leave you hanging for so long. Let's get this this show on the road. Sifu is great. Sifu is pretty great. Yeah, I can't I can't be I can't argue with that at all. Will this be a longer stream? I have I have no idea. I wouldn't uh, be surprised if we went a little longer than usual, because I'm having such a great time. Good to see you again, Spring Bean. This place is already starting to look different. I figured you'd still be working on setting up that tent. That's some work at work ethic. Not much else to do around here. I like making the place feel homey. Or work ethic's my middle name. I like it. I want it to feel homey. So we're going to fit in here just fine. Working up an appetite from all that chopping and mining. Well, if you got the patience, I've got the solution to your woes. Gardening. Oh, I thought he was going to tell me it's cooking. But cooking is someone else. Cooking is, uh... Is, like... What was her name? Resh? Homey? Homey! Get some Argon homies in chat. I didn't even, I didn't even put two and two together. <laughs> Gardening, all you have to do is wait for a few sun cycles and voila, dinner or breakfast, even lunch if the mood strikes you. Doesn't sound exciting, but trust me, nothing tastes better than a carrot you've grown yourself. Actually true. Like if you've ever if you've ever grown your own food, I, I have very seldom done so. Like when I was a when I was a kid, like we had a garden outside the back of my grandma's place. And uh we would grow stuff there and homegrown even if you don't normally like the vegetables, like any homegrown vegetable gets knocked up a whole tier beyond what it was previously. It's it's insane. I've got all the tools you need right here. Why don't you drop this plot down and give it a good till? You got it, pal. So the, these are my gardening plots, I assume? Let's find out. Garden, gar make sure your garden plot is on your action bar and select it by pressing the number for that action bar slot. Easy. Aim where the garden plot should be placed and press left-click to make the final placement. Once your plot is down, press and hold R to select the hoe. Till the ground with the hoe by pressing and holding... Okay, we got it. Place your seeds in the action bar and select them with the corresponding number key. When... Press left-click. Okay, easy enough. Seems pretty straightforward. Crops need to be watered each day. The water drop indicator lets you know when they're thirsty. Ma many crops can be harvested at once and the cycle begins again. When crops are ready to be harvested, simply press F to harvest it. Easy. Alright, so... Where are we going to set up our farm plot is the question. We only have, we have two farming plots. What's the best place to put them? Maybe like off to the side here. That, that could be kind of nice. If we clear out a little bit of this debris, then we could, we could, we could definitely make something happen there. So let's go ahead and consume some morels for a little bit of focus. Then we'll, we'll work on chopping this stuff out of the way. On my roof. I don't think a garden on the roof of a tent is a great idea. But I could be wrong. Congrat Forging level 2! No, my challenge run! I ruined it! I didn't realize I was getting experience. Oh well, I guess I'll have to play the game normally. No level 0 challenge in Palea for me. Rip, can we get some 07s in chat? I need to upgrade my tool. All right, I guess this tree is just here forever. Or at least, well, maybe not forever. It's a little bit overdramatic, possibly. Reset, run dead. All right. This feels all right to me. This feels like a nice... We don't have... I don't know how big these plots are, to be honest with you. Decently big. Let's go ahead and set it right about there. Okay. And I assume you gave me some seeds as well. Maybe not yet. Maybe I have to talk to you for more seeds. Well, howdy, Sproutling. Can't help you more till you start your plot. Who we that was? Good. Oh, I have to hoe it first. Okay, I got a hoe. Very, very crude looking hoe, but it'll get the job done. This is a little. Oh, ooh! There's loot in these in these plots. Wait, I was gonna say this is like. 
You know, this this feels a little a little much, but that was before I discovered you could find sac sacred urns. What is this? Dig it up. It's 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 archaeology. There's artifact spots in this game. My first tilling discovery. What did I get? Wait, what what was that? Did I, did I what what I don't I didn't even see what I picked up. I have carrot seeds in my inventory now. Was it just carrot seeds? It's a bit tedious, just like in real life. I don't think I need to till all of these, to be honest with you. I probably I probably only need like a couple little tiles of tilled space here, but I'm gonna do it just for the satisfaction of it. More accurate to real life tilling. Does anyone know what I got out of it, by the way? Ooh, we got another one. Out of like this weird urn. I got one stone out of that. So it's not it's not like soup there's probably a chance for some good treasures but maybe it's not like always a good treasure maybe it's like more accurate to artifact spots than I even realize. Like sometimes you'll just get clay or whatever but there's a chance to get some good stuff. All right. Carrot seeds. Right there. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's so satisfying. G to examine. That is <laughs> what a great prompt. Chat, I wonder how my carrot's doing. Sure is a carrot. Alright, do I have a watering can yet? Maybe that's this last slot here. Let me go talk to, to Badru. What brings you around here? What well, is my house? <laughs> you might be wondering what to do next. Unfortunately, seeds don't plant and water themselves. Ah. You're gonna need some of these bad boys. Consider them a housewarming gift. Once your seeds are in the ground, go go to that pond and fill up this here watering can and give that dirt a nice little bath. Take a few sun cycles. He didn't even give me seeds. That literally was just a seed that I got out of the, the earth. You pick up more seeds at Zeki's. Can't wait to see you again. Same to you, buddy. That would have been funnier if I'd given you wheat seeds. <laughs> Are there seasons in this game? Do I don't think... It doesn't seem like they've indicated anything seasonal yet, but maybe if I like look at these seeds, they'll give me an idea. Grow into one crop of onions. Prevents weeds from growing on other nearby crop types. Crop synergies. Grow one crop of carrots, prevents weeds from growing on other nearby crop types. We got we got lots. So we have eight. This is perfect. I tilled nine spots, and I've got eight more seeds plus plus the one I already planted. Let's plant some more carrots, and then plant some uh, some onion seeds as well. Swap that for right now. Easy, and then we'll go we'll go water everything after this. I'm gonna do a little satisfying symmetrical design for now all right bring me bring to my onion seeds please the onions there we go hold on i'm gonna examine my onions weed prevention okay this makes more sense now now that there's actual like context to this all right i get it now it's not just showing me yeah that's a carrot dude <laughs> that's fair although that even that could still be useful if I, uh, like, forget what I planted. Your watering can is empty. How do I fill? Like so, right-click. When in doubt, right-click. That's all I need to know. Perfect. Can I, like, walk as I'm watering? I certainly can. Is there a water meter? There is in the bottom right. I see it. Getting the job done. That doesn't seem like the spot I'm watering, but I'll take your word for it. I'm gonna be AFK for a while. I have the urge to play Paleo all of a sudden. I can't imagine why, <laughs> Annika. But enjoy your enjoy your time in there. Maybe I'll see you around. I don't know. I don't know if there's like different servers or what the heck's going on here. But all right. Um, I don't have any more seeds. What I do have is now a a knowledge of gardening. Am I ready for the makeshift herb planter that Einar gave me? Chat, I'm scared. Okay. Makeshift herb planter. Grow your own sweet leaf at home with this improvised planter. It conveniently has drainage holes. This doesn't seem like something I have to put on tilled soil. I think I just... Can I put this, like, inside my house, do you think? As, like, a little house plant. Hold on a second. House plant. I can put it on top of my chest as a reminder for where I got it from. Nyella has added me to your friends list. Nyella, 
I don't know who you are. I assume you're in chat right now. Let me let me place my planter real quick. Um Oh, sorry. I missed your friend request. Let me just make sure that like I'm gonna, I'm going to real quick I just I just want to see like what is actually going to show on screen when I when I go to the friends list before I send it off. So let me just send you back here for a brief moment. Um social press o to open the social panel okay all right it all seems it's this seems fine i think this seems fine yeah okay friend pat friend panel i got a friend ex friend request from casey as well as from niella s is for friends list i pressed o for the social panel but maybe s also works accept accept perfect i i have two friends i have two new friends Installing Paleo right now. It's taking a while, so you don't even if you don't even know if you'll be able to play this stream. I have a feeling we're going to be playing more of this in future streams, so uh, so don't worry if you don't get in on it right now because it's uh, I think I think there's plenty of options here. All right, can, do I have to water this? Do I have to water this thing? Um, let me give it a try at least. Does not appear so. Maybe the planter is just decorative, just a little decorative boot planter. Can I pick it pick up pick up the makeshift planter? I just I want to rotate it a little bit so I can see the boot silhouette just like that. Perfect. We'd love to see it. All right. Here come the flood of requests. It's all right. I'm not I'm not afraid. There's there's usually a bit of a deluge of of requests and things that when you start a new game, but then it dies it dies off fast enough. All right, let's go ahead. Plus, I like making I like making friends with you guys. Maybe it's a magical planter. I don't. It may, maybe it's just an aesthetic thing. Maybe there's more to it than that. Either way, it's from Einar, so I I love it. All right, we want to place a chair, a table, and a wardrobe. I assume I'm having to craft those things first. Okay, this is the whole shebang. Tools, makeshift arrow, smoke bomb. Okay, wooden storage bin, campfire. I need to make that. I actually have everything I need to make it too. Okay, let's, let's start. Let's start off with that. Why not make a basic campfire? Easy. Let's put the campfire honestly, like right down in front here, is is totally fine. I think. Like a little bit offset from the entrance, just so I can run into the entrance right away if I need to. Perfect. All right, campfire has been placed. Let's craft. So I need. What do I need? I need a chair, a table, and a wardrobe. Wardrobe seems like the big big sink here. 45 wood, a dining table. You can get fences, stools, torches, large torches even, and dining chairs. So I need a, quite a bit more wood to make all this stuff. I can make... I kind of want to make some of these like a large torch. This is kind of a good vibe to it. It's a port key. What should I learn to make? Did I just level up? Did I level up my crafting? Chat, what should what are we learning to make? Bed, chair, or oblong or obelisk? I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. Chat, hold on. What are we learning to make? This is this is a pollable opportunity. Which one? I'm just gonna go with one, two, or three from left to right. Actually, we'll do left, middle. You get inspired each time you craft. If, if this happens every time I craft, I won't pull them all, but I will pull this first one just because it's fun. Left, middle, right. What should I learn to make? I'm intimidated. I'm intimidated by choices. Mystery, middle. This seems like a chair. This also seems like a chair, to be honest with you. It gave him, like, the four legs. It, it looks like maybe, like, a stone chair. And then right is the bed, which is probably useful just to, like, rest. Bad for show. Each time I craft a piece of furniture, I learn a new piece of furniture recipe in that set until I've learned them all. Okay, so I won't be locked out of these other ones. I assumed not anyway, but that's good to know. Good to know the, uh, the mechanics. 
By the way, if you're if you're worried about like giving me like backseating information or anything like that, don't be worried. As long as you're not giving me like story spoilers or anything like that, or spoilers about the like the world and characters, those I want to avoid. But if you're giving me like mechanics based intel, that'll make my play experience better. I'm gonna borrow a colloquialism from my favorite streamer Dan Giesling. Hop in the front seat instead of the back seat, and and guide me because I'm this is this is a community effort more than anything else. Being of community. The middle one is winning. We got 46% of people in chat. Oh my gosh. Wait, I just opened up the poll though. 46% of people say middle. 46% of people say right. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's literally tied. All right. I guess I haven't cast a vote yet because I, I can't vote in the poll. Oh wait, there's more people voting in the poll now. Now that I've, I've brought it up. No love for left. Left is kind of a cute looking chair as well though. All right, I think we're going to go middle. It's very slightly edged out towards the middle. And we'll we'll have other opportunities to learn things anyway, so let's do it. I received a log cabin stump chair. New opportunity for chair. Also, I crafted this torch. Let's go ahead and put that down. Like I like to frame my doorway with torches sometimes. Ooh, it's got like wind physics and everything going on about it too. I'm here for that. All right, I need to go get more wood. So let's uh, grab our axe. I guess I can chop, like, I'll chop up the, oh, Azzy Argum. Uh, press enter to show mouse, add his friend. Thank you for being my friend. Appreciate you. Where's that health and safety we were discussing? What, are you, are you talking about the fact that I have an open flame right next to my cloth tent? I don't know what could be what could possibly go wrong with that. A lot of little details like the like the the fire having uh <laughs> having heat trails. Flame looks way too close to the tent. I don't think they'd let me burn down my house. I could be wrong. But I might be oh my gosh. Night farmer has added me to my friends list. Annie, alright. Hold on hold on a second. Add his friend. Wait. Wait, for, wait a minute. Accept. All right, perfect. I don't know if there's a limit on how many friends I can have, but but here we go. Clarence Fielding has added me to the friends list. Thank you. Let me just chop this tree, and I'll I'll get to you. Accept. Perfect. Is this a high level tree? No, it's it's the the bigger trees are higher level. Lizard and <laughs> we're finally getting the diluge of friend requests. People have successfully installed Palea. Welcome to the welcome to the world. I'm happy to be your be your friend. Maybe I'll be able to let you like visit my house at some point. I don't know, but for now, bug catching 101. I'm just looking at my quests on the side. I need to craft the furniture. I've done. I've started on the gardening. Bug catching will be the next order of the day here. I've already done a little bit of that. I need to find another common blue butterfly and a Kalima night moth. Maybe I should go out and try to find that night moth. Because it is night, and if I don't find it now, then I might have to wait the entire rest of the day. Let me go see if I can find a night moth. That's that's you, Liz. I could have guessed, I suppose. <laughs> I'm sorry I started this. No, it's it's totally fine. Like, don't feel like you're inconveniencing me by sending me a friend request. I'm more than happy to accept them. Where can I find a night moth, do you think? A Kalima night moth. Well, I guess I don't need to catch both of them. I only need to catch one or the other. But I've already caught so many blue butterflies, I might as well try and find a night moth. Let's get let's get this ready just just to be on the safe side. Night moth. Probably want to go over to like the foresty area, right? That's the shrine, the dragon shrine. Night moth. Night moth. I'm assuming the Kalima Night Moth comes out at night. That would be a cruel joke if it was like, oh, they only spawn at noon. <laughs> but either way, Fairy Moonstone, I accept your friendship. Willow, hello. I'm not going to disturb Willow. It looks like they, I was going to maybe ask them if they know where I can find a Night, a night Moth. 
but they seem to be having a great time fishing, so I'm not going to interrupt that. Bailey, your moonstone? Nice to meet you. I'm, Cl I'm Chloe Castle. I haven't seen, like, any bugs. Bugs are not, not fruitful at night here. Wait, what's that? I spoke too soon. Is that is that just a common blue butterfly? It's so glowy, but every, everything is glowy in this game, I guess. Everything that's, like, collectible. Wait, you, you escaped. No. You're not... You, you, I need... Okay. Success. I have required the common blue... A star? I got a gold star common blue butterfly. Whoa. There, there's quality in this game. I caught a star quality item. Star quality bugs and fish can be placed in their own terrariums and aquariums. Select the item from an action bar and left click to place. Chat, we got a pet! We got a pet butterfly! And we completed our quest. Oh my god, it's the best day ever! We have acquired our first pet. It's not going to be one that can follow me around, unfortunately, but pet butterfly. Make a museum? It's definitely it's it's definitely Animal Crossing vibes to it. Wait, what is that? There's 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 a bubble spot. Hold on. I'm getting distracted by the bubbles. Uh back it up a little bit. We got bubbles here. I need I need to know. Maybe it's like a rare fish. Okay, we got we got a nibble. Double nibble, triple nibble, and then the bite. There it is, alright. Now, guide it. Okay. He's not so bad. Oh, oh, he's trying to juke me out a little bit. It's all good. I think we got him. I think we got him. I got a spotted bullhead second pet. It's another star quality item. Oh, Chloe is a talented animal tamer, it turns out. House pet. Do I remember how many gigs the game was? Not off the top of my head, I'm afraid, no. Yeah. That's my butterfly. New common blue common blue butterfly. Now, oh, what the heck? Oh, grasshopper. I have yet to catch a grasshopper. Common field cricket. My mistake. We got it though. I remember Pepe, Pepe Kitchen stole stole my stole one from me earlier. All right, is this the way to my house? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is that would be off to Bahari Bay. We'll have to check that out at some point. But I got I want to go home first and continue with my questing. 17 gigs? That probably sounds about right. It's it's like not a small game, but as you can probably tell just based on like, you know, everything going on. Have I met you, Chain? Come, Hello. Speak with me. Welcome, Phoenix's child. Welcome to our fair welcome to our fair village. You're not calling me Dragon's Child. The dr there's a dragon and there's a phoenix. Interesting. The local ritual sage and devotee of Maji, the Great Dragon. Finally, I can learn more about the Great Dragon. It's my job as Kalima's healer and sage to care for our villagers both physically and spiritually. Oh. My spiritual. Um, I'm still figuring all that out. I'm not going to speak for Chloe just yet. Don't worry, you were only just created. You have plenty of time to figure that out. Exactly. You see, guidance, my door is always open. Thank you for the for the friendly vibes. If I wish to bathe in Maji the Dragon's glory, might I suggest a walk out in nature? Walk I have visited the, the shrine already. I, I've appreciated Maji in, in all their greatness. At least I think I have. Are grasshoppers and crickets the same thing? Top 10 questions that scientists can't answer. They've got to be part of like the same... like family, but I don't know. They're, like, they're obviously like, different species, otherwise they wouldn't call them different things, right? But there's there's extreme amounts of similarities there. It would be, it would be insane if that was a case of... Oh! An unreal process has crashed. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's alright. It's, it's an open beta. It's an open beta. Um... Okay, let's, let's try and restart. There's, 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 it's all right. Hold on, I'm going to actually send you over here for a second while I log back in. It's, it, it happens from time to time. In fact, you know, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't run into any technical issues beyond this up to this point, really.
Hopefully I didn't lose my uh my new pet, my common blue butterfly. All right, I'm joining. Joining the server as as Chloe Castle. Not enough focus commune with a shrine. I'm seeing a a hint on the loading screen. In fact, I think I can just bring you back in now. All right. Um let's try that again. Don't hesitate to ask for help. All questions are good questions. Very true. That that rule holds true in chat as well as in Palea. Unable to connect. Client travel experience failure. Please try again. All right. Um, <laughs> turns I've been evicted. I think Chloe has been evicted in her first couple hours in Palea. This is not this is not great. Not great for her. Your husband's game crashes like every twenty minutes. Chloe came into being by the by the Phoenix, so it might be implied she get, she died and got reincarnated. All right, give it another whirl. Will we get home this time? Will we get home? Fingers crossed. We made it home, Pog. All right, we we successfully arrived home. Just a minor hiccup, I'm sure. Like I said, it's an open beta. They're still testing around with a lot of things. I think this game has been being worked on for like five years, according to the website, like five plus years. So they've they've it's got a lot of polish and a lot of great stuff going on about it. But you got to keep in mind it is beta, so there's still things that are going to be changed, things that need to be fixed. So it looks like my tent is on fire. Thank you. I've I worked really hard on the aesthetic design. Oh, you mean like literally though? Yeah, I guess. But maybe it's that's also a vibe of its own. All right, let's place our new pet butterfly. I will put you over here. Can I name you? I guess I can honorarily name you. I'm going to call you Tara. I don't know why. Tara the butterfly feels feels like a good fit to me. Didn't I have another? I do. I have this. Uh, what What are you again? You are a spotted bullhead. Found in the Kilima Rivers without bait. A specimen so fine it's fit for display. You're telling me. No aquarium needed. Well, I guess aquarium technically needed, but it comes for free. Yo, can we... Do you think we can do, like... Do you think we can stack them? We can stack them! Wait, can I, can I pick up the whole shebang, then? I, oh my gosh, it's the best game of all time. Intuitive UI and furniture placing elements. There we go. All right, you are you are Tara the butterfly, and you are Josh the bullhead. Tara and Josh, best friends forever. All right, we got mail. Gina, ooh, she got something about the uh, the ancient battery, maybe. I've been doing a lot of digging on the flow battery you found. Humans use these things to power all sorts of things. You know, there's this old door under the waterfall that I've been trying to open. It's just a little ways past the shrine we first met at. I tried all sorts of things to get it open. Maybe this battery could be the key. Why don't you give it a try? I'm surprised she's letting me do this, to be honest with you. This place used, this place used to belong to your people, after all. You should be really be the first one to look at it. Very thoughtful, Gina. Thank you. Ancient. Th it's still called an ancient thing, but I know what it is. Sure, what do you got? Looks like I've been improving your foraging skills. Why don't you stop by the inn later? I'll teach you how to build a sawmill. That can put your supplies to use. We're upgrading so fast. This is crazy. You were looking for a bit and only just saw the tent on fire. Chat, the tent's not on fire. It's an aesthetic choice. Don't don't make fun of my aesthetics. <laughs> All right. Let me pop away the stuff I don't currently need. Uh, actually, don't need the, the... It feels weird to put a soil plot inside my chest. Common field cricket. Put this away, all of that, all of that. I think I can access these, these materials from the crafting bench anyway, so I don't need them in my inventory. Uh, ancient thing, we'll hold on to it for right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it in my second hotbar, though, just so it's not taking up space of primary interest. You have a bug viewing area in your house and so many bugs. I feel like I might fall into that trap, to be honest with you. All right, we still need more um, more wood. We never finished gathering the wood because I got distracted. 
very easily distractible. We might as well finish clearing all the wood and the stone and stuff that we can out of out of this part. Out of our actual like homestead area so we can use it for building and decorating and all that fun stuff. And then once we run out of things to mine around here, we can move on to the external areas of our house. Also, I'm out of focus, I realize. I need to need to eat, I think. Let's go ahead and top up. Let's use our grilled fish here. 50 focus. That was from Einar, right? We better use this uh, energy carefully. We've been playing for, for over two hours at this point. How are, you, how are you guys feeling about Paleo so far? I don't think I need to tell you what my thoughts are on it necessarily. I think you can probably infer that I'm that I'm greatly enjoying my time. No game sounds? Game sound is missing. Hold on a minute. Let me... Thank you, thank you for the heads up. Uh, it should be... Here. I don't know why it's missing then. Let's let me just let me try and just do this, do this, do that. Feel stellar about it. Let me see. I think we I think we got audio back. You guys hear stuff? Let me just run around a little bit. Let Chloe's hair, you know. Dazzle in the sunlight. We got it back? Okay. What is... I need to free my cursor again so I can... There we go. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Didn't even notice because you can hear it in your game. I think I think we, we should have game sound. According to OBS, the sound is coming through. So I hope, it, I hope OBS would not be lying to me. Oh. Uh, maybe the game sounds are quiet. Maybe I... Ooh, I got Tree Chopper 1. I've chopped and looted 30 trees. You to view accomplishment. No. No, there's not this many achievements in the game. <laughs> oh, no! Chat! The next thousand hours of my life! Ah! <laughs> Better get started. Oh, my gosh. Dad, I'm 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 hooked. I don't know what to say. Achievement hunting time. I don't even I don't even want to look too closely at all of them just yet. But, oh my gosh, the fact that that's there. They 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 know their audience. I'm a tree chopper grasshopper. Do you think I get tree chopping experience for chopping barrels? They're not trees, but I mean they're still giving me wood. Can't hit that because it's covered in rocks, I assume. I got a rock. Just downloaded the game and it's a lot to take in. Enjoy your experience, Red Cookie. Take it at your own pace, and I hope to I hope you have as much fun as I'm having with it. What is this game about? Uh I mean we're still very early on. It's a I mean it's a at its core is a game. It's like a farming not even mainly just farming, it's just like a life sim game where you can like it's like an it's like Animal Crossing if Animal Crossing was an MMO. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting for it, but that undersells it even on its own because there's so much that's just like unique about the game. Like the setting is very fun. It's like the characters are great. You can romance people, so there's like that on top of Animal Crossing. At least I've been told you can romance people. I have yet to interact with that part of it. I have I've been building my friendships a little bit just by like talking to people, I think. Uh, speaking of which, does anyone have a uh, inclination of what the social, like, like how I can check my rela relationships with people in town? Like, what, what hotkey is that going to be? I think I need to water those crops, by the way. Is there any fighting or dangerous parts? I have yet to encounter any, like, proper combat. There is hunting. You can, like, hunt, uh, hunt certain creatures. But I haven't actually run into any, like, monsters or anything like that. C for those menus. C or L. Go to the tar press I and go to the heart tab. It's probably the best way to go about it. 
Ashura. We got we got lots of lots of friends already on the go. Einar is our number one so far. Friendship level one stoic stranger. Are they all stoic strangers? Helpful heal. No no nonsense neighbor. Reach a higher relationship level with this villager to unlock this quest. That's really cool. Wait, so they don't have... Maybe, I mean, maybe they have hard events. I don't know. But, like, they have quests you can unlock as you level up with them. That's really neat. Okay. Weekly wants. Talk to the villager to learn about what they want. So that can give them gifts as well. That's good to know. Accomplishments. Events. Do we have any events, do you think? Coming soon. Fair enough. Quests. Spiffy it up. So many quests. Skill quests. It's great. L for love. That's 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 gonna stick in my brain forever. <laughs> you just use C so you can reach it without without opening your hand without moving your hand. Oh, I guess C is C and I are like the same thing. That actually is helpful because then you can, it's less distance to move with the with your fingers. You're not wrong. Miss Palindrome, welcome on in. We're having a great time with Palea. Chloe, Chloe is building up a nice little farmstead so far. Speaking of which, I think I need to water these crops. Refill the watering can. Can do. Uh, okay, we're good. The crops will never wither. Progress is only paused until they are watered. That's actually extremely good to know. That, like My crops can't die if I leave them too long. I think we still have a lot of water in this can, so I might as well just send it. Yeah, Miss Palindrome, I remember you were talking about how you uh, you were downloading Paleo the other day. Hope you're enjoying it as well. It's been you feel feel free to add me as a friend. A lot of people have already. I don't we and there's like that community tab. I'm inter I'm gonna look into that probably like between streams. Maybe we can have our own little, like, community in-game, and we can have, like, little events and stuff. I don't know how that's going to work, but that's that's how a lot of MMOs work. There's, like, guilds and communities and clans and all that stuff. And I assume it's sort of a similar vibe to that. Machines continue to process even when you're lo not logged in. Based. All right, let's put away all of our materials we've gathered so far. I think that's probably enough... Can I move? I can move that. Okay, perfect. Um, I think it's probably enough to craft everything we need to craft. I'm going to craft... Let's start with a wardrobe because it allows me to change my clothes, maybe. Tuck, tuck your clothes away safely in this wardrobe, which is unfor which unfortunately isn't a walk-in one. Unless... Dot, dot, dot. I, I appreciate a good dot, dot, dot. A well-placed dot, dot, dot catches my interest for sure. What should I learn to make? We don't have a bed yet. We have stuff to sit. I don't know what this is. That looks vaguely torch-like. Let's get let's grab a bed though. Log cabin couch. Even better. Alright. Um wardrobe. Place it right here is fine. F to change clothes. So and I can just literally change. I don't even need to go to a barber or anything. I can literally just change it all right here. Yo, that's that's so good. That's very, very handy. All right, next, let's craft a... Um, we don't have the stuff. I need more choppa fur to craft a log, cab log cabin couch. Let's craft a table. I don't think we have any other tables that we can craft, so we'll just stick, to, stick with the log cabin table. The wardrobe takes you to the character dressing screen, so technically walk in. Oh, gosh. This feels nice. This feels like it could be a good piece of decor right there. Log cabin wall decor. Literally exactly what I thought it would be. All right. Table. It's going to go... We could Put the table right over the rug. That's, that's kind of a cozy vibe to it. I like that. All right. Now we got to craft... I can even craft the decor. I have the, the sun, sun drop lilies to do so. But first, we should focus... Dining chair. Didn't I have another chair I could make? I, I, I discovered a chair. Decor. Stump chair. I mean, I discovered the stump, stump chair. Everyone's going to be making the dining chair. I got to make the stump chair. It's going to take up, like, all my wood, but <laughs> is worth. Ooh. I don't know, dude. I'm going to go with right. Yeah! <laughs> Folding screen. 
That's a very that's a very chic sort of presentation. Okay, let's put the chair. Rotate me. It's my it's my wooden throne. How do I how does one sit? How does one chat? You can't refill your watering can here. I know that's not what I'm trying to do. I would like to sit. I would like to sit in this chair. Chat, how do I how do I sit? They told me I could sit down, but I do not know. One does not simply sit. I've not figured out how to sit. They told me they literally there was like a line that was like you need a place to sit down and rest. <laughs> oh, hello. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Mayor. I've got a friend request from from Pally. All right. I always have time for my constituents. You came to me. What do you mean you always have time for me? <laughs> Wonderful news. Good news, everybody. I found the forms under the bookshelf in the records room. They're only a little crumpled, too. Thank you. <laughs> you can just sign here and here. I'll be able to get you that, that blueprint. Mm -hmm. House blueprint. <laughs> there we have it. And I even remember to bring the blueprints with me. What a legend. Plop down that frame as soon as possible and get building. All right, we have, we have, we officially have. This feels like a big a big quest to build a whole house. Place the foundation of your house. That's got to be like ha like I I have to craft that. I assume. Crafters, decor, makeshift tent. Is it just in my inventory? Hold on a second. Place the foundation of your house. Yay, friendship. I'm, in, I'm, I'm enjoying I'm be, befriending the mayor. Also, I need to get rid of this stuff. It's very unsightly at the front of my home. That's a high chair table ratio. I would rather have a large chair than a large table most of the time. I think, I think that's where I land on that one. I feel like I don't use tables often enough. Good goal to do before the end of the stream. If I can figure out where my house blueprints got off to. That's that's the only thing I'm I'm curious about right now. Did I miss it in the crafting inventory or is it somewhere else? I can even break the sign. I could break this sign if I want to. It's kind it's kinda it's kinda charming for now. I'll leave it. Also, I need to build another torch. Decor. Log cabin torch. I need more wood. Hold on, I'm gonna go chop down a tree real quick. Do that. You can do that while moving, which is very nice. I need an upgraded tool. All right, fair enough. Place it with H. He might have told me that, and I just didn't listen. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna besmirch the game on that one. Oh, it literally also says at the bottom of my screen. There's like a little house icon, and it says H right next to it. That is probably also a, a reasonable indicator. Okay. First. Torch. I need. I need. I need symmetry around here. Perfect. Now let's put that down. Right about there. Perfect. Welcome to my domicile. This is my own private domicile, and I will not be harassed. Let's see if we can place a house. Holy moly! All right. Harvest house, the main entrance to your home, 11 by 11 meters in size, takes 8 hours to build. So I, do, I, do I even need materials for this, or do I just like... Wait, hold on a second. Move... So I, I, could, I would move the makeshift tent for now. Can I rotate it? Rotate item, Q and E, okay. I would move it like over here. Move it just off to the side somewhere for right now, I guess. So I can put my tent in the middle. Need to burn the tent twice as fast. I just put that off to the side for right now, along with all the stuff inside of it. Appreciate that. Right there. Smack dab in the middle. Okay, perfect. Harvest house. And I can move my tent a little bit closer still. Just so I don't have to run, like, all the way. Alright. Add resources to your building to complete construction. 
I figured it wasn't going to be that simple. There's no way it would just be like, yeah, you wait eight hours. I need sapwood planks, 100 sapwood planks, and 35 stone bricks. I feel like I'm going to need a sawmill for this one. Right? Because I remember there was... Who, who mentioned about a sawmill? Oh, hello. Mm, How are you doing, Tish? Okay. Thank you for visiting. Oh, hi. Hi. Kenley mentioned he found the blueprint for your house, so I thought I'd stop by to give you some helpful tips. Thank you. I need stone bricks and sapwood planks, so get comfortable with wood cutting and mining. Don't worry, I've done plenty of that in my day. You've met our innkeeper, Ashura. He can teach you how to make a sawmill for those planks. My intuition! My gamer senses! The tutorialization, it's on point. It's all coming together. And Hadari sells the so stone smelter you need for the bricks. If he's not in the village, check Bahari Bay to the east. That's where he lives. Got it. Yay! All right, plank by plank and brick by brick. I'll have to stop by again soon with some housewarming gifts. Not if I gift you first. Yeah. I could be, I could be tempted. Tish, oh my gosh, she's she's adorable. Yeah, I think that's what I remember in here, right? It was like Shura, yeah, Shura, Shura sent me mail. Have a good one there, Durmeister. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy your evening. Grill. Grilled mushrooms? These ingredients are required to start. Use quality ingredients. Let's, let's just make it. I wasn't sure if I could use this yet, but might as well I was might as well give it a try. I haven't been to the bay yet, no. I'm I feel like I'm gonna be overwhelmed by its sense of majesty and beauty. Part of me was worried that the bay because it looks like it's an entirely separate area. Part of me was worried I would go there and be like, this area is not available yet in the beta, but it is, it's, I mean, it's, it is the bay, putting the bay in beta. Looks like I have a visitor. Click on the house icon from H. Oh, Vale Moon, wait, you're, you're here? Click on the house icon from the H menu to change your visitor permissions. Higher permissions will allow your friends to collaborate with you, with you in building your home. Wait, what was, what was the permission? House icon from the H menu. Got it. Visitors can cook, garden, and access their inventory. Editors can allow, can additionally gather resources and move place decor. You can also change your plot from open to close to block all visitors. Got it. Yo, Ven Moonstone. Hello. Wait, who were you in chat again? I, I totally forgot. I forgot I you told you even told me, but wait. Wave. Hello. Let me just make sure my house permissions are actually in a good spot. House. House from the H menu. Plot security. Friends. That's that's exactly what I want. I want only friends allowed in here. Ven, how are you doing? Well, welcome to my beautiful home. I appreciate you dropping by. You've di you've given me a hundred sapwood planks towards my house and eight stone bricks. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, but I need to I need to go get them myself. I do appreciate it, and I and I thank you for your contribution. But I also want to contribute to my own house. <laughs> thank you so much. Hold on, uh, I don't know what these emotes all all are. Thank you. I'm just gonna wave for now. Your storage is very full. How do you visit? I have no idea, but Ven has has figured it out. Thank you so much, Ven. I I appreciate you. And feel free to feel free to wander around. I feel like my place is a lot sim is very similar to yours. It's the is it this sign? Visit other plots. Look at that. There's that sign. Okay. So if anyone wants to try and visit another plot, you can use the sign right next to your entrance there to to give it a whirl. Um, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and grill some more foods. Make them. I can visit your plot if you want. You did not give mean to give me all the planks. <laughs> it's okay, Bailey. I appreciate it. I do appreciate the gesture. I'm still going to go like learn how to make the planks myself, but it does save me time technically, so I'm not that upset. Let's go let's go see pa Oh, Pally, hello. Welcome on in. Welcome to welcome to my abode. I love your hat. You got you got an amazing hat. Boo. <laughs> Wait, how do I... So how do I whisper you? Whisper. Message. Hole in D. No, press tab to chat. Press tab. M wait. Colon D. 
I, I whispered. Okay, bye. And hello, Clarence Fielding. Welcome. We've got we've got so many friends joining joining the fray hey. here. Hi. Hey. How you doing? T to emote, by the way. T to emote, if you're not uh, aware. Faye, glad you're glad you caught up with the stream. It is very adorable. It's an it's an extremely good game. Thank you all. Thank you all for visiting. I worked very hard on my. Oh, I am missing a bit of fence here. You're not wrong. Any, any, any Sverage. We got a whole party going on here now. Welcome. Great hair, great hair choice. Great wardrobe. Y'all, y'all are some are some fresh looking folks. Party at Argons. <laughs> party at Chloe Castles. We can we can we can jump with the best of them. This is this is how this is how you this is how you greet people. This is how you you say, say that you're friendly. Oh, you got the paraglider. I don't have that yet. This is this is how we differentiate friend or foe. You walk up to someone, you jump, and if they jump in return, then they're then they're friendly. If they don't jump, then it's a little bit sus. There you go, Annie. She got it. Clarence is off exploring over there. All right. Well, I hate to I hate to end the party short end the party so soon here, but I... Oh, Lizard Anne, welcome! You're pointing at me! P point yourself. Are you friend or foe? Friend or foe? Friend or foe? Lizard Anne. You're not, you're not jumping. You're not jumping! I think you're friend, though. Because, I mean, you're literally on my friend list. There you go. <laughs> Can't get over how humongous my tent is. Given that I don't need it to sleep, it's so good. All right. Well, I'm going to head back out into the world, I think. Because I think I'm pretty much done everything I need to do here. I need to go get the, the sapwood planks. Contribution complete. I need to go do that. Thank you all for visiting. I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll set up parties. We can have, like, a little community nights in the future, maybe. I'm loving this. Stream delay. <laughs> I figured as much. All right, uh, it's getting late in the day. I should probably head out before I, before things go go sideways here. Let me put away the stuff I don't need right now, which would basically just be this wood. Move these over to the rest of my food. Um, honestly, swap those around, and I'm gonna get the heck out of here. I'm gonna, for now at least, I'm gonna go ahead and just close the close my house, close my house to to people. And we'll op we'll open it at specific times, just so we don't get overwhelmed and bombarded by people. But I pre I appreciate the visitors so far. Y'all have been very cool. You play this game through Steam, so you can take like a billion screen screenshots. I didn't know if it was on if I didn't realize it was on Steam actually. I uh, I just have it through the actual like Paleo launcher. Eat so I can get more XP. We're not doing any strenuous activities right now, but when we do, we do have the, the resources to make that happen. Coco Mama. I wonder how many people are, like, actually playing the game right now. It seems like quite a few. It seems pretty popular so far. Hold on. We're gonna need copper in the future eventually, so I might as well get it while I see it. K is the hotkey to enter camera mode. Let me loot my copper ore first. K for camera mode. Ooh! Look around. Oh, there's someone gliding. It's beautiful. Save them. The cache is cleared each session. Good to know. Ampy Dreamer. Look at it. Look at that's that's very that's great intel. K for camera. Exactly. K for camera. This is sad. How do we fi how do we fix this up? There's got to be a way. We're gonna be able to fix that up eventually, I'm sure. That's too that's too sad to just have a broken windmill sitting right there. All right, Ashura, I need to go find you. You're you're gonna be at the inn, I assume. Also, we haven't visited uh, Zuko's shop yet. I, it's, I don't think it's actually Zuko, but that's the name that popped in my head. It starts with a Z. This is the this is the the blacksmith here. Repair tools. Start. Okay, I, I didn't. I didn't even know that I needed to repair tools. To be honest with you, maybe that'll come in later once I actually upgrade. Open store. There's no one here to purchase things from. I can buy planks here, buy bars. I can buy the bricks. Work table. 
Can I go in here? No, door's closed. Suko as a shopkeeper would be hilarious. All right, where is... Where are we looking for? Ashura, you're, you're, you're leaving town right now. Not without giving me my sawmill, you're not. Mr. So sorry, Mar Argonit. I'm going to need to interrupt your conversation here. Sorry, a new place can be tough, but you've been doing a great job. Thank you. Got a couple of recipes for purchase that might make your life a little easier. Want to get a sawmill first thing to turn some of that wood into planks. Oh my gosh. Okay, I actually have to buy the sawmill. Insufficient funds. You know what? That's entirely fair. I have to actually pay for these things. Flow infused plank. Holy. What the? Oh my gosh. Exquisite axe. Chat, I've discovered the late game. Forager's plaque. Is this the premium currency? Forging metals. Maybe I get the get them some other way. All right, I need to I need to get some gold. I need a hundred gold for um for the basic sawmill. I can go sell some stuff. I can probably go probably I, I would like to I would like to fish and sell my fish. I need money for the sawmill and the smelter. What the what the heck? Okay, we're good. All right, I need to find a good way to make money then. What else do I have to do out here? Finish building my house, obtain a recipe, obtain obtain this recipe for the stone. Okay, so I, I literally just need money. From Hadari and mining level two. I haven't even hit mining level two yet. I need to do more mining. Maybe I can go find some copper ores. I'm for some Argon greed. You're not wrong. All right. Money making tips. Chat, share with me if, you, if you're Palea... If you're a paleo aficionado, share with me your hot money-making tips. What What's the best way to make money around here? Also, my map is not opening right now for some reason. I'm trying to, I'm trying to press the button to open my map. In fact, none of my hotkeys are working. That's awkward. Lit literally, none of my hotkeys are working right now. I can't, I can't even hit escape. Kuro Okami, thank you for being a member for 14 months at the Positron level, by the way. Before I before I go, let me just drop my appreciation for you. I greatly appreciate the support and the generosity. Thank you so much. 14 months, that's crazy. And ours be with the 16 months as well. Greatly appreciate the support and generosity back to back. Love to see it. Can anyone can anyone help, by the way? I can't I literally can't press. Like, I press enter to do anything. I press M, R. Oh, R still works. Okay, R still works. Maybe that's the ticket. Escape. I guess, I guess I'm... This, this is the true sim experience. I'm not allowed to access any menus. That's fair. Backyard pond at the mayor's mansion has an exploit. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not about necessarily the exploits to make crazy amounts of money. I want to make it. You know, I want to earn it fair and square. But uh, good to know that there are exploits around here. Maybe when I go home, it'll reset with the loading screen. Let me try that because that's probably it. Probably would behoove me to have. Um hotkeys <laughs> that I can do things with. Now, which way is home is the real question. Sundrop Lily for me? Wait, that's a moth. Wait, hold on. Nightwing moth? Did I get him? We got him. I got I got the night moth. New bug added to the to the encyclopedia. Warp home? I literally can't. <laughs> like, I, 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 unless there's an actual button to warp home, but I press M to open the map, which is where the warp button is, and I can't get, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Alright, that's not home, I don't think. Where's home? Home, 91 meters. Just gotta go around. No worries, Jerry. Hop around here. Endal, hello. Alright, let's see if our loading screen shenanigans might work here. Bigger bag at Zuko's store. 
the inventory is filling fast. I guess we do need our backpack upgrade sooner or later. Although we know how far we've gotten in the past with, uh... Alright, hot, hot keys restored, saved. Who said it? Um, Faye, thank you for the tip to head home. I can now actually use my hotkeys. Success. I've gotten pretty far in Stardew Valley without having to buy a backpack upgrade, so... I, maybe I don't need to buy one in Paley either. Have a good one there, Sivan. Thank you for hanging out. Alright, let me make sure my hotkeys still work out here now. Okay, that's good. Um, let's go... Bro, let's go fishing. I'm, go I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go back to Einar. I wanna go- I wanna go say hi. Actually, I should drop- while I'm still near home, I should drop off my resources that I've gathered here. That's a different game. Yeah, but the principle still applies. And it's still- it's still the same old Chloe. She just, you know, she's- she's at her vacation home in Paleo right now. Okay. Open this up. The mod. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can sell some of these, like, bugs and stuff that we've gathered up. Because, like, the, the common ones... I don't know. Maybe you can use them for crafting or something at some point. But these common ones, uh, including this common white square and this striped base, I've already got a decent amount of stuff I could just sell right here. So maybe we do that. Let's go... Ooh, we, got, we do have mail. Hold on. Let me sell before we do anything else here. Okay. We're not going to get the money right away, but... Boom. 100, 120 that we'll get in 23 minutes. Not much of a home, more just a tent. A, ho a home is wherever you make it. You don't even need a building to have a home. You don't, need, you don't need anything to have a home. As long as you feel like you're home, you're home. What do we got for mail? Hadari, what do you got? Already been using that pick I gave you. If you want to learn more about the real life of a miner, come see me. I can't wait to, can't I can teach you how to make a smelter or copper bars or even ceramic. It won't be easy, but it will be rewarding. I'm going down the, going down the Clint, uh, skill tree. Mark is red. Thank you, Hodari. Zeki, I've heard about your store. You're Zeki? What on earth? Tired of going out hunting or bug catching, then having to drag your haul back to your house every quarter of a sun cycle? Well, look no further for your solution than Zeki's Expanded Backpack. Expanded Backpacks greatly increase, it, increase your storage space and cut ties and cut those trips home in half. Stop by Zeki's store today. I didn't think- I didn't realize Zeki was- was a cat, though. Dude, Pi grew up. Get some- get some cat emojis in chat for Zeki. The Phoenix Shrine. So I just met you, and this is... So I just... So hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. But you're the only person I could think of to, to message. Something strange is happening with the Phoenix Shrine. Nothing world-ending, don't worry. But I could use your help if you got the time. Uh, yeah, I'll, I can definitely help out Gina at some point here. Let's see. I think, you know what? This might be a good place to call it a stream, though. I don't, I, I was, I wasn't sure if I was going to go longer or shorter or not, but we have a lot of quests, a lot of things heading in different directions. I feel like we've made a good base of operations to start with. Our house is actually amazingly close to being done, thanks to the generous donation of 100 sapwood planks. But, uh, for now, we, we do still have to work on the stone bricks. Literally woke up, woke up, woke up, open streamed, rolled out of bed and opened Palea. <laughs> yeah, you should probably take care of the basics. I know I know Palea can be a very very tempting first choice, but progress though. I think I think we made a significant amount of progress on this on this stream. And rest assured, you're going to be seeing more of Palea. I uh <laughs> I don't know when or in what form exactly. I don't know, like like, part of me wants to... I guess I can have, like, another... I can make another character to play off-stream if I want to. Maybe there's, like, a way to do that. You can have, like, multiple characters per account if I want to play on my own off-stream. But I also want to discover the game with you guys, so... Either way, I probably don't have enough time to play off-stream even if I really wanted to. Even though the, the, the urge is very tempting right now. <laughs> to, to play off-stream some, but... But we will, uh... 
We'll play it again on stream in the near future. Mark my words. The house upgrade takes eight real life hours. Hmm. Well, it takes eight real life hours to finish. You know, I mean, it is it is a good reason to maybe want to go and like complete that quest and get get all those materials right now, so I would have it ready for next stream. Do you want me to donate bricks? Now that I know it's eight real life hours, I'm like I'm very tempted. All right, you know what? What a what a great way. Who said who said it? The house will take eight real life hours. Zipora, great way to extend the stream. All right, you you've done it. You've got me to play Pele even longer. You have bricks. I'm I want to go get my own bricks. I'm a I'm a self made. Chloe, Chloe is a self made woman. As much as she can be. All right, we're extending the stream. <laughs> So I need to get the smelter. I don't, I don't, oh my gosh, hello. I need to get the smelter. Obtain a sm the recipe for a stone smelter from Hadari at mining level two. So first order of business in that case, what was that sound? First order of business would be to find, would be to reach mining level two, I think, right? Like I'm already forging level two, so I don't need to worry about that for the sawmill, but mining level two... I think if I go around find like copper ores and stuff, or I guess just like any stone, I can also just mine for some experience. More of Argon and Chloe. I was I was humming and hawing on whether I wanted to go for like a longer stream today. Anyway, I don't know how long it's gonna be. Also, can I check like what my skills are actually at? Um, oh, I'm already like mining level two. Wait, I am mining level two. I just missed it. All right, so we can go to we can go talk to Hodari then. But he might be he might be asleep or going to bed. Let's see, Hadari. Where are you, my friend? Does he he lives in the bay, right? That's what they told me. He lives over in the bay, so we might have to head over to Bahari Bay, which is, you know, scary because I don't know what's gonna be there that's gonna hook me to stick around even longer. <laughs> Eat to gain XP faster. Turns out I don't need the XP right now, but that is a, that is a solid point. All right, we're going to Chesapeake Bay, aka Bahari Bay. Bricks take two minutes each to make. <laughs> Is that true? Don't we have to make like 30 plus bricks? Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh, that's, I thought it was like a chest or something, but it was just a, 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 a deer. <laughs> I forget what, it, I forget what you're called, I'm sorry. Stayed up too late playing Baldur's Gate. Nico, welcome on in. Good to see you. We're having our own Baldur's Gate experience. Not really Baldur's Gate, but what if Baldur's Gate was Stardew Valley instead? The crafting machines in this were a rude awakening. But can I make multiple smelters to make to to make more bricks? Or I, I guess I, it depends on how many uh whatchamacallits. Oh my gosh. This whole there's there's a whole ancient aqueduct. What is this? What is this? There's so much going on. Oh no! All right, Hasian and Hadari is asleep. Do you think we can wake him up? And be like, hey, I want to buy. I guess I don't have the money even to buy the the sawmill. Not the sawmill, but the smelter. That is a big map. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hello. Hello, Najuma's room? No, I don't want to intrude there. Hadari's room? Chat with Hadari? <laughs> I literally can wake him up. What the heck? We're in the twilight zone. If you want to hone those skills, build yourself a smelter. First step is to turn rocks into bricks. All right, what do you got for me? Basic smelter for 100G. Okay, so I need to, I need to get 100G. Which I, I know I have in the shipping bin already, so I just have to basically wait for that, I think. When do when does the shipping bin party roll around? Is it like it's it's six six AM and six PM probably? Six AM and six PM. Alright, so we got a little bit of waitings to do. That's fine. In that case, you know what we do? 
we mine this coal first, I guess, or, or, or possibly tin, I don't know. Sorry, I need to upgrade your tool. All right, fair enough. Uh, let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. I mean, we're in a bay-like area. Pulse Water Plains, Beachcomber Cove. Like, why don't we go down to the beach here? We'll just go explore the beach a little bit. Lighthouse Lagoon. We can go do some ocean fishing. The Windy Ruins. Let's just let's explore to our heart's content, to be honest with you. I take things to Zeki to sell right away. It's not business hours, though, right? Surely, surely... Oh, that's... I thought I could just pick that up. That's my bad. Sure, surely they wouldn't let me sell at, like, midnight. Maybe. One common field cricket. Zeki's shop is always open. Is that a... That's a moth. I thought it was a small bird for a second. Kill him a night moth. Wait, if, if, if Zeki's shop is always open, we should definitely check that out then. All shops are like that? That is huge. Okay. That's that's huge intel right there. Is that another night moth? Or is that it looks like it's got like a red thing on its head. I don't know if all of them had that and I just failed to notice. Wait, what is that? I missed. Hold on, I missed. But that, that looks like a rare blue cricket. Wait. You're definitely rare. You're taking so many smoke bombs. He's go- he's- you're gonna run me out of smoke bombs! No, dude! It's fine. We have two more smoke bombs to make this work? No, don't tell- he's gone! No, he's still there! Oh, he's gone. Rip. Sometimes you gotta hit it multiple times at once. Oh, so I can hit it, like, while it's, like, stunned. Hold on, dragonfly? go. I hear him. I think he's gone now. I think I heard the little puff sound of him going away. Fair enough. Well, we should go check out Zeki's shop if it's if it's always open at all times. And just see if we can sell some sell some stuff. Okay, where is where is my exit here? I gotta go back to the back to the west. We'll come back and explore the bay at a different time. For right now, it's not, uh, not worth our time, I don't think. Casual gamer, welcome on back. Bug hunting is great to do with friends, so you use fewer smoke bombs. I could see that, yeah. Am I able to craft smoke bombs yet, or is that not a thing I can do? Maybe I have to talk to, uh, what was his name? I Ilon? Einar? No, Einar is our fishing buddy. I can craft them. Can I craft them yet, or do I have to, like... Do I have to go talk to somebody first? Maybe I just have the recipe and I'm not, uh... Not privy to it. Alright, let's... Let's go... So we, we, ha we haven't even found the shop yet. Wardrobe, general store. That should be very easy to find, to be honest with you. Let's just go find it. Auni. Auni sounds right. Bug Scout Boy, exactly, yeah. Eugene. Got a Sundrop Lily here. That one's mine. I think these resources are like, you know, it's like first, first come, first serve, as far as like players and stuff go. How is that you? Or are you, you are Tao. What are you doing out here, buddy? You're a long way from home. Unconditional affection. Same. Actually, same. Al looks at you with anticipation. Want to play? Woof, woof, woof. He wag wags his tail excitedly. Wait, can I play? Al, come with me. Come with me. Let's go on a journey together. Wowee. All right. Al's going to do his own thing, and I can respect it. General store. Probably this... No, that's the library. You can tell because it's got a big book. Dino, dino theme ad? Is this... That's the furniture store. Okay. Is this the general store? 
There's so many people here, I have to imagine. Hello, Zuko. It requires one lucky coin. This is a furniture shop. Wait, is this is this the right shop? Am I, have I arrived? This is the general store, I think. Open store. Okay, perfect. I can buy a box of chocolates, a worm. Worm for bait, I assume. We're here to sell, though. Sell my night, night moths. Honestly, like, sell... Oh, this is worth this is worth something good. Sell that. Morel, sure, sell it. It's just, it's just burn and spot, place my inventory. Sell. Sundrop Lily. You know, sell it. I'm, I'm selling it all. I'm selling it all. We got it. We got 100 gold. We can go buy our smelter now. Or our smelter recipe, I guess. I wanted to meet Zuko, though. Zuko, Zuko's not here. Backpack for 500. That's actually not that bad. Zuko? What the heck? Dude, where am I going? I'm going to the black market. Pull out loose book. It reveals a hidden lock. Perhaps you need a key. Secrets? Wait a minute. Is there a key hidden in one of these... In one of these ethereal grain sacks? Pull out a loose book. What? Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Is there actually a black market? Was I, I was like making a joke, but it's a real thing? <laughs> Very interesting. All right, I'm just going to jump over the counter, I guess. Nothing else around here. Very lovely urn on display. Don't know what that is. It's a, it's a box. All right. Back to the bay with us, I think, and we can go buy the, uh, the smelter recipe. Zuko is too busy searching for the avatar. He knows his uh he knows his priorities. Can't be mad about it. Alright, I don't need to need to hunt down any other moths just yet. Ow still chillin'. We got it we got a chupa, hold on. Chupa? Sorry, choppa? Get to the choppa? Wait, oh he's gone. Okay, that's fair. I was I was a little slow on that one. Uh, east. I, I believe the bay is this way. I'm gonna try and find my way there without using the map. I gotta get a lay of the land eventually, right? Companion cube? What was that? Ooh, we got one! We got a headshot on the on the, uh, Cernuk. I'll take it. Chloe got that, uh, that aim. I think this is the bay. Looks very, very ruinous. What one of the things I love the most about this game so far, by the way, is just the environmental storytelling. Like the world, there's so much going on in it, and they don't explain like a whole lot about it. You just kind of like look around and get a feel for, for, for the world as a whole. And I really love that approach to like how they're telling the story so far. I'm curious about like obviously there's something going on with Gina and the Phoenix Shrine and all that stuff. This this ancient battery. Curious to see where all that leads eventually. Seems like there's there's a lot, and we've only just barely scratched the surface, both in terms of gameplay and in terms of like storytelling and lore and stuff. Hadari's room. Hadari is not here. Wait, Hadari? Hadari is here, but I can't talk to him. Hadari, I was able I was able to chat with him previously. I was able to chat Sir Reed. Nothing is quite as filling as a bowl of loaded potato soup to make blend potato and butter for a base. That's a is a cool way to find recipes. They're just like scattered around. Can I just go to the can only talk for, can I I can only talk through the door when it's for a quest. Gotcha. In that case, what the heck is Oh, that's it's just a watering can. It looked kind of weird, though. Can I open his shop from the blacksmith back in town, then? Can I just, like, open the shop from there and not have to worry about talking to him? Or is do I just have to wait until he's awake again? No, yes, no. Because th that worked for the, uh... 
I worked for one of the shops. I mean, let's go back into town. I mean, obviously, there's not much I can do here anyway until he wakes up. So let's just go back and see. He's not the blacksmith. He's a miner. His shop is on the map. His shop, his shop is on the map. Hadari and Najuma's house. Wait, he's awake. He's awake. My man is woken up at 4 a.m. What a god. I, I, I don't even remember the last time I woke up at 4 a.m. <laughs> That's no, like like of, of my own volition. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's got like a, a job or something going on, I guess. But Hadari. He's here somewhere. He's he's in the back of the house. Sorry. Chat. Oh, wait, open what? store. I want. I do. Well, I do want to chat as well. What should I make for dinner tonight, dude? You literally woke up five minutes ago. <laughs> he's such a for. Oh my gosh, he has his life so much more together than me. Hashtag Hadari goals. How's that plot of land working out for you? It's going great. I'd rather move into yours. Was that one of the option? Uh. That's a little forward, I feel Goodbye. like. I'm, Chloe's not quite there yet. Alright, let's open up the store. Basic smelter recipe. Requires 40 stone, 6 flint, and 3 cernuk hides to craft. Alright, that should be easy enough. I do need to get more cernuk hides. I think I have one at home, maybe? Or did I sell it? I've got one in my inventory. So I, I got that cernuk on the way here. So we can get more... We just gotta hunt down some more Cernux. Okay, I can do that. Gives you Pedro Pascal vibes. Honestly, I can see it. Nefits, good to see you. Welcome on in. I'm having a great time with the, with the stream so far. Streaming Paleo. It's a game that's it's profoundly got its hooks into me at this point, And I don't see it letting go anytime soon. To be fair to Hadari, I too think about what I want for dinner when I first wake up. I'm usually thinking about what I want for breakfast, but each their own. Alright, Cernuk. I need to find some Cernuks to, to hunt. I would ideally like to get more than one smelter going. If it, if it does take a significant amount of time to actually to smelt things. Oh, Cernuk. Cernuk spotted. Be careful here. Oh man. Okay. That's that's like one arrow wasted. We gotta be careful of the arrow supply as well. I only have eleven arrows remaining. If I can catch up to him, I can at least get him. I don't need to Ooh, okay. Lower it again. Where'd that Cernuk go? He's over there. He's over there. We got him. Say goodnight. Alright, perfect. Plus one Cernuk hide. I don't know if you can get more Cernuk hides from... Or, like, more than one Cernuk hide from a single Cernuk. I would imagine not. Or maybe you need, like, a higher hunter level in order to do that. Ooh, what is this? There's, like, a Stonehenge thing going on up here. Ooh. Curious. This game gets curiouser and curiouser. Do I, do I spy any Cernuks from up here? Let me use my camera. Uh, sure, I guess I took a picture. <laughs> I, do not, I do not spot any Cernuks yet. Ba basic makeshift arrows are always two shots to kill. Last one was already clipped by a different person with their own arrow. I see. I thought I was just that good, and I... I hit it in the right spot, managed to get it in one in one shot. That's good to know then that if that there's not actually like headshots or anything in the game. So I, I just have to worry about hitting it broadly. That is great intel. How's Einar doing here? I'm I'm in love with this thing by the way. I want one of these in real life, one of these little like happy frogs that opens up. I, I want I want a frog to open up for me. I am sorry to inform you, but have you I have forgotten your name again. Is it is it Einar? No, that is my name. <laughs> He's amazing. 
The Majiri known as Eloisa came to see me today. Majiri. So that's that's like the name of these people, I suppose. She seems to believe your kind has been hiding underground for 10,000 annual cycles. I did not correct her. There didn't seem to be much point. She seems to find much enjoyment, perhaps oneness, in her amusing falsehoods. Why? Is that not how humans close conversations? I, there, there are no words to describe how much I love Einar. Relatable AF. Honestly, true. Okay. I'm looking for more Cernux. I think I might have one more Cernux hide at home. But I don't want to take that chance and, like, head home and be sad. Also, I should probably mine some more stone, because I don't know if I'll have enough. Actually, I probably do have enough at home. I haven't been using the stone to craft much of anything lately. Einar knows something that others don't. I, I picked up on that. Yeah, he's like, he seems to... And he seems to think that it's, like, basic knowledge of, like, how, how long humans have been away from here underground, I suppose. He definitely knows more than he's letting on. Cernuk? Cernuk spotted. Okay, one hit. Chase it down. You just, got, you just gotta wait. You gotta wait at your moment. I'm not gonna risk sh hitting it while it's, uh, while it's charging about all hither and thither. Wait for it. It's, it's eventually gonna stop. It gets tired. My endurance is, is un... Is unmatched. Chloe's in dirt. Chloe? No. Matt Mer Matt Matt Mercer! No, that's my loot. That's my I'm sorry, Matt. I'm sorry. I'm out I'm out of here, dude. <laughs> that's my loot. Finders keepers! I'm gonna I'm gonna let him have those other Cernux, that's fine. Yoink! Look, maybe he also got loot from it. We we both get loot? Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's that makes me feel better. That makes me feel a little bit better. Oh, I wanted to try a try trick shot. I failed. Yo, this is where the Cernux live, though. Holy. I'm glad that there's, like, a, a shared loot system like that, and it's not like, you know, the first person just gets all the loot. That is, uh, that's a good quality of life feature, I think. Alright, I would like to find two more Cernux to, to get their hides. And then I think we can try and maybe make two smelters. I've got five more arrows. I should be able to take these down. I'll be, I'll be back for you. I, just, I, just don't, I don't want to make sure I don't lose this other one that's over here. The one right by the tree there. Perfect. Yoink. One final Cernuk. I should remember. I need to remember this place so that I can come back here if I need more Cernux. Because it seems like they're all kind of congregating in this area. Oh, thank you. Who 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 was that? Sorgan Hazelnut. Maybe Matt Mercer. I got Gold Star Cernuk antlers. Holy moly! I can request Cernuk hide through the friend tab. There may be a time where I do that, but for now I'm having fun just scavenging for myself and learning, uh, and learning the ways of the world. Let me mine this real quick. I should I should have also upped my focus. I realized so that I could get more experience for doing that. Better late than never. Once you have arrows that one shot these bad boys, it's solid money. But what was that beetle? Did you guys see that beetle? He's gone now, but... Yeah, like, what is this spot? Is this an actual, like... It's not a named location. It's between Fisherman's Lagoon and Whispering Banks. I can remember that. News. Congratulations, Chloe. You have officially... You have officially received a reward for a Refer a Friend program. Yo, thank you guys for using the link in my... In the description below. I've got a few referral rewards, apparently. What do we got? Claim? I don't know what it is. Here's to Grand Adventures. I'm cl I want to claim. I got a Finding Friends Choppa Fountain. I got, I got a shirt. I got some pants. I got Finding Friends Choppa Plushie. 
I got a hat and a founder reward. Check your inventory. Okay. One of the very first players to join the world of Palea. Good to know. Redemption failure. I'll have to try that again later, I guess. That's that's fair then. All right. Yeah, if you like if you like what you're seeing, if you're if you're enjoying your time watching pa Palea, then uh, there is a link in the description below the stream where you can start your own Palean journey. Ruins look destroyed. There's there's a lot. Like I said, the environmental storytelling storytelling here is on point. Tish, what are you doing Such out and a about great here? Day, isn't it? it is a great day. Life in the valley is very peaceful. Love the wistful willows that grow here. Not only are they beautiful, but their bark is soft and pliable. Super easy to make beautiful furniture if you're working with willow bark. Yeah. I would imagine so. The willows. Anytime I hear about hear about willow trees, the image that comes to mind are the RuneScape willow trees with the they're just iconic to me, just the way they look. Another rock to mine. I, I need to face it, I guess, though. The game is supposed to come to the Switch in the holiday season, and there will be cross-platform prog progress. I did, I did know about the Switch. I should have actually mentioned that. I think you can pre-order... Paley on the Switch right now. That is on their website. So if that's a way you would like to experience it instead, then that will be coming eventually. Um, I didn't realize about the cross-platform support, though, or the cross-platform progress. That is very cool. Looking forward to seeing that, yeah, because the Switch, it, that would be handy to just have it on the go. Chloe will be mobile for the first time in ever, really. Inventory full, by the way. All right, let's take it all home and see what we can craft here. Let's let's get down to business. Rubbing my hands together. I don't know if you can hear me. Hear me, the sandpapery sound of me rubbing my hands together as I get ready for shipping bin sales. 120 gold. Thank you. I actually forgot about that. Okay. Put away all our loot in the chest. Um. I don't know. Often used for decoration and in medicine. I'm gonna keep the basic Cernuk antlers. The Gold Star Cernic Antlers, I feel like I'm probably better off selling those, right? I've got these these decorations as well I gotta sort out. I put this away for right now. Um, Mountain Morel, you can go in there. These and this and this. Cernic Hide can also go in here because we can craft from it here anyway. This, this chest is getting pretty full. We're gonna need a new one pretty soon, I would imagine. All right. Let me sell the Cernuk antlers. What else do I got here? Let's let's put down our let's have a look at our Choppa fountain and our Choppa plushie. Put you right on. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest thing on this earth. <laughs> Chad, Chad, this was all you. The reason we have this plush is because you clicked my referral link in the in the description below. That's so good. Oh my gosh. Let it stand as a testament. The oversized plushie. It's so much bigger than I thought it would be. Now we gotta see what this fountain is like. It's about not a valid placement location. Fair enough. Very, very cute fountain as well. Very nice little, little piece for our garden over here. I'm gonna put you like that, I think. I like that. We can always rearrange that if need be in the future. Oh, I should also water these crops. Gotta remember to, to keep these constantly watered. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about them, like, withering away or anything like... What's going on with this one, though? What is it? Weed? Oh, I have to weed it. Okay. One nap weed. Do the weeds, like, stunt growth in any way? Or are they just, like collectibles like like materials that I can that I can acquire also can I refill my watering can at the fountain shoot <laughs> would have been too good all right weeds do stop growth all right 
common weed, but it's not without its uses. I'm sure I'm going to hoard it for now because <laughs> I'll be wanting for a nap weed and I won't have any idea where to get one eventually. All right. Let's get down to business. Craft me. I need crafter. Basic smelter. Here we go. I can craft... It looks like I can craft almost exactly two of these. I'm going to need a little bit more stone. Let's go get six more stone. Just so I can craft them both at the same time. To defeat the Huns. You read me like a book. Did they send me daughters? When I asked... For sons... You're the saddest bunch I ever met. And you can bet... Before we're through, Mr. I'll make a man out of you. Hold on. I want to go see if I can find one more morel, because I think I can actually grill some more mushrooms if I find one. This is a very expansive little area I've got access to here as well. I know I can't, like, build in all of this, obviously, but it's still nice just to have a, a place to chill out. I'm never going to catch my breath. Say goodbye to those who knew me. Boy, was I a fool in school for cutting, Jim. This guy's got him scared to death. Hope he doesn't see right through me. Now I really wish that I knew how to swim. All right, let's make some more mushrooms, please. You can use quality ingredients. They pro probably makes a better food if you use quality ingredients as well. beauty. Alright, let's collect that. I guess I, can, I don't have to stay there the entire time. I thought I had to stay there and like tend to it as it, as it was making it, but no need. Alright. Crafters, basic smelter, make. Boom. And then I can make a second one as well, right? Yes. Perfectly calculated. Mulan is such a great movie. As long as we're talking about the original and not the, the remake. Although, to be fair, I haven't seen the remake, but, you know, live-action remakes have a certain uh, reputation about them, I guess I'll say. Alright. Can I put crafters down outside here? No. Crafter budget. Place z limit 5. I can only put 5 crafters down. Upgrade by pur purchasing a crafting license at City Hall. Okay. Let's put them... Let's put them just... I, I don't want them, like, to be super intrusive. I also want to have access to them, though. But for now, let's just put them, like, right around here. Something is in the way. Not much longer. This is fine. I'm going to go ahead and move the campfire. Move it over yonder. And I can put down my second crafter. Second smelter, rather. Right about there, just so they're lined up nicely. Ooh, perfect. All right, now, what do I actually... I need to craft a stone brick. Um, Get out of there. So craft bars. Stone brick requires two stone. How many stone bars... And it takes two minutes. How many stone bars do I need? Um, Thanks to the generous donation of, of Ven Moonstone. I believe that was your name. Sorry if I got it wrong. We need only 27 more stone bricks, which is 54 stone. I have three stone. Let's get this. Let's, let's, I mean, let's get, let's go get some stone. Then we'll get some stuff smelting. Then we'll go gather more stone while we wait on the smelters. Cute way of stopping immediate min-maxing escapades. It seems like they've got a lot of that going on in here. They're making sure that you, like progress at a at a reasonable rate without you know just being able to min max the game right out the right out the gate here I did get your character's name right heck yeah I remembered moonstone the ven was the part I was not sure about all right let's go start a smeltin Craft me. Oh wait, we can do we can do multiple jobs. Wait, so I can do. Wait, I can put six in here. 
I can I can just load it with all the stone. I can just load it with as much stone as I need. Okay, so there's 16, but there's technically 18. Okay, so we can we can actually just come in here, and it completes up to three jobs at a time, and then I can collect those three jobs, and it won't make more unless I unless it has room to make more jobs. Is that how that works? I'm a, like just that's my assumption. I could be wrong on that, but. But that's what it looks like. It seems like, if I'm reading the UI correctly, you put in as much stone as you want, and it'll smelt up to three, and then you can take those three out, and you can get more. That way you can't just, like, set it and forget it forever, and, like, come back and have, like, 800 stone bricks or something. Up to a full stack. What's a full stack in this game? I feel like I haven't discovered what a full stack yet. Is it 20? Craft. Let's put, let's get the second smelter working as well. There we go. A hundred stone? Okay, so I can put up to a hundred stone inside of each smelter. And then I can get three stone bricks at a time. Alright. I'm picking up what they're putting down. Yeah, maybe, maybe the size of the stacks changes depending on the material you're working with. That's entirely possible. Alright. I mean, we've got, we've got a good setup going here now, at least. I think getting two smelters as opposed to just one was a smart idea. Literally, like, double the speed of our of our stone brick progress, in, th in theory. In theory and in practice, maybe. I right, put more of these in there. I'm just going to keep loading it up. We got one stone brick. So, will these stack up? Will stone bricks stack up, or will, will it literally go, like, one and one and one? I guess I'll find out. For now, I'll just go mine more stone. The stone bricks do stack up. Okay. Aru's B, resident artist of the uh, of the emotes. Many of the emotes that you that you can use in chat. Wait, I just got I got a whisper. I got a whisper a few minutes ago. I didn't even realize. Hold on a second. From from Azzy Argum. I have furniture that I don't want. Would you like to see if you want it instead? Sorry, I I didn't catch that one at Azzy Argum. Let me let me whisk. I don't want to mute you. Message you. Um, do we want to, do we want to see what furniture they have? I guess you know what it could be a good way to pass pass some time. Um, sure. Why don't you swing by my place and show me what you have? Um. Great emoji selection. <laughs> smiley face. Hold on, I want to type the smiley face. Smiley face. So that mean that does mean I'll have to do this. All right, friends can now visit. As he as he Arsgum, I think we are friends. So there you go. I also like furniture. All right, these are stacking up. That's that's great news. That is fantastic intel. Makes these extremely. You, that way, I don't have to like babysit them, and like I can just let I can really like, go off and do my own thing while these while these work. All right. That said, I think I still need like this is gonna make eight more, so that'll be ten total. Well, I guess it'll be twelve because it's currently making one. Twelve, and then this is gonna be. That's 2 plus another, like, 14. So 12, 14 is 26. I think we need literally, like, one more. Also, can I, like, minimize my chat now that I'm done with it? Or is it, is it just going to stay up there? I'm, I, is there a way to hide that? Not that I'm, like, I don't I don't mind seeing it. I just want Okay, there. It just faded away on its own eventually. Fair enough. 
I'd be the first to die in a horror movie. What do you mean? Just invite inviting strangers I met on the internet into my home so that they can give me furniture? Or at least show me what furniture they have uh they have readily available. Alright, let's get more let's put some more stone in the smelters. Azzy, welcome. Hold on, I'm just gonna put my I'm just gonna put my stone in the smelter. All right, I don't know exactly how this works. You might have to guide me through this one, Azzy. Welcome, welcome to my home. You don't know how to give me this. Hold, we can figure this out together. Um, let me... Okay, what if, what if we go O? Social friends. Azzy. Azzy Arkham. Invite to party? I can invite you to my party. Let me see. We're, we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. Don't worry. In the meantime, our, our stone is still smelting. Immunity. Is there per permission to let someone edit your home? Oh yeah, they, they did talk about that. That you can have like permission to like put down furniture in my home. Let me see if I can do that. Um, default slot, new housing slots. Okay. Permissions. Visitor, I will now give you... Okay, don't take this for granted, Azzy Argum. I'm, I'm trusting you a lot here. You are now an editor. You've promoted my... Uh, you've been promoted to an editor of my home. Grant permissions. Oh, no, we're good. All right, so now I think you can put down the furniture. Where, wherever you see fit. Please do not... Do not steal my plushies. And I might be able to pick up the furniture once you put it down. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Let's see what kind of furniture we're working with here. I'm excited for the for the Ar for the Azzy furniture so showcase. Is it too big? I can step back. If I'm gonna step back, I don't know how big it's gonna be. Big, small. We take it all. Is there a put down but not pick up permission? Maybe. I don't know. I only saw. I only saw editor. Um. Editor and Visitor were the two permissions that I saw. Is it working, Azzy? There? There? Let me know if you're running into issues. I can try and find a different way to, to approach it. You should be able to, in theory... Also, what is this in my inventory, by the way? What's this? I have a slate swirl tile floor. Was this what you were trying to give me? Hold on a minute. Wait, did you actually give it to me? As he was this was this what you were what you were trying to give to me, or did I discover this some some other way? Slate swirl tile floor. Can I put it down? This this is not a valid placement location. I don't know if I can put down a floor in my tent. <laughs> Look, I understand it's not a it's not a valid placement location. Fair enough. It's not. Where did I, where did I get this floor? Did I just get it while while mining? That's kind of cool. Feeling kind of exhausted, simply collapse onto this cool slate floor. It won't judge. Promise. What a colorful, quirky description. Love it. I guess I can also put away the the flint. Boring and wallpaper needs to be placed in the house. I kind of gather it. I feel, feel like you can't just put a... You need to have a real house and not a tent. Let me let me look at my permissions again. Editor, you are currently an editor. I do not have permission to perform that action. <laughs> okay. What if I go... House, crafters, fences. As the Argum has invited me to join their party. I'm willing to, I'm willing to give it a whirl. Hold on a minute. Party invite. We're you're in my party. We've partied up. Where where's the loot window? Where's the loot window? Things can only be moved that are already there. 
There's got to be a way to, like, give people things that, that you have. Surely, there's, there's, like, a trading system like that. Quests, community, maybe in like community or something like that? I don't know. We're giving it our best here. Let's see. Server. Friends online server. So these are the these. Oh, these are all the people that are on the server. I see. They're the same. Okay, I understand. Active request. Press up to four different items from fellow Paleans. Your request will be active for a short period of time. Wait, have I discovered something? Help other Paleans by fulfilling requests. Understood. Request item. Is there a? Can I request furniture? I do not see furniture as a requestable thing. I've got materials, gatherables, fish. So sorry you thought this would work. No worries. I mean, it's it's a learning experience for everybody here. I am not... Uh, oh, we got party chat as well. Party chat. That's how you get items. Yeah, I, I figure that's how you like get materials and stuff. People want to share their materials. What does the crown mean? I believe the crown means that Azzy Argos Argom is currently the leader of our party. It's okay. I appreciate the effort to give us some furniture. I was I was excited to see, but it's all good. I appreciate you do giving it your best. There's a there's no no harm done, no ill will because you were you were just trying to be a good friend, and I respect that. You were trying to give me a good experience with some amazing, cool furniture, and we just can't figure out how to do it. Yeah, it feels weird that they, sh they should be able to put down furniture as an editor. I don't know if there's something just strange going on there, but for now, I think we'll just have to we'll have to let bygones be, by be bygones. Maybe in the future, we can uh, we can figure that one out. Appreciate it though. You're well. You're welcome to hang out. Actually, I don't know because I might be leaving the. I might be leaving my home to like go do some other stuff while I wait for these smelters to work, because we we do still have a decent amount of time before these are going to be done, right? Like they take if it takes two minutes per brick, and we got we still have like a decent number of bricks to go here. It won't take that much longer actually. It's going to be like what like like ten minutes on this. That's not too bad. I don't know if you'll be able to stay in my home once I leave, but I am heading out. So, all the best to you, Azzy, Arz Azzy Arz Argum, aka Zipporah in chat. Can we get some, some love and some hearts for, for Zipporah for trying to give us some amazing furniture, even though we couldn't get it to work? Should probably reduce my permission settings. Don't worry, I already did it. <laughs> I was one step ahead of you just to be on the safe side. I trust you. I do trust you, but you know, better safe than sorry. It's all good. I, pr I appreciate you doing your best. This just adds credit to the theory that Zipporah used the furniture as an excuse to mean to lure Argon to his doom. I have faith that Zipporah is not a slasher villain who was trying to eviscerate me in my own home. I think they just wanted to give me some cute furniture, and unfortunately, the systems of the game don't allow for that right now. Or they do, and we're just not able to figure it out. I'll look into it in, like, like between streams, maybe, and we can figure that out. I guess I also don't need to be in your party anymore. We'll exit party. Thank you for your time. All right. Let's go. Also, I can see, like, there's, like, server chat, party chat, community chat. Interesting. There's, like, there's like all these different chats that, that are available to us. I guess I don't need server chat on right now if I'm not talking to people. So I'll just leave that off for the time being. Pick in Discord. I will have a... I will happily take a look. This feels like it should be a bad time. <laughs> 
You know what we can do while we wait? Let's go talk to let's go talk to Gina. Talk to Gina about the Phoenix Shrine. Might as well keep the main quest going. I think that's the that's the next big thing. While we wait on our stone bricks to craft, and we'll I guess I do need to get that sawmill eventually. It's not super pressing right now, but let's just see where Gina is, because I am legitimately curious about that. Looks like she's at the library. I got mail? <laughs> is is that mail at my actual home or is that mail like in game? Okay, wait, where's the library? I'm getting I'm getting all turned around now. Okay, I'm I'm headed the right way. Caterpillar! Wait, caterpillar! No, my cat I wanted the caterpillar so bad, it was so cute. Oh I needed them to feed my chicken Paul. Rip. Alright, there will be more caterpillars in the future. Alright, Gina. G Gina, you're over this way. Okay, I'm just headed the wrong direction. I can just follow the, the compass waypoint here. Okay, you, you're inside this this building. Which is probably the library. Yeah, there's, there's Hecla right there. Gina, how you doing? I was starting to think I dreamed the whole thing. I did, was I gone for that long? I'm so sorry. Yesterday, Hecla and I were examining the ruins more, trying to find out what's going on, why the humans are suddenly back. Understandable. Found a piece of a statue that looked like it fell, fell off the phoenix, so I returned it, which is when it started glowing, just like when you dropped out of the sky. It, all, it stands to reason that these two events are connected. I hate to... I regret to inform you, Gina. I've noticed about 800 glowing flowers, bugs, fish, and other things in the vicinity of of this uh, of, of Palea here. I don't know if two things glowing necessarily leads to a correlation. But you know, you you are the researcher, maybe you know more than I do. I'd like to test my hypothesis, which means I need you to go and try and check out the shrine, but only if it's convenient. Mm. Sure. Have I met the librarian's sister, Eloisa? You mean the girl right behind me? Her theories are entertaining, I'll say that much. Can't say they have much scientific validity. Yeah, but that's how everyone gets started, right? Everyone's got to get started somehow. I do believe we are being watched. What gives What gives you that impression? <laughs> I'm searching for paddle flop. For a paddle flop. Have I seen one around here? Uh, how will I know? Or why do you ask? How, how will I know? What, like, what's a paddle flop? If you see something odd rummaging around a choppa den, that may be it. Paddle flops are known to pilfer stolen trinkets back from them. Interesting. Took off my prototype prototype electro flowmometer yesterday. Don't be and I'm hoping to find it. Uh maybe I'll do that next time. I'll I'll pull the thread and see what unravels. This is a library, not a dance party. Chat, can you get some dancing emojis in chat, please? We gotta prove we're wrong. Any anywhere can be a dance party if you want it to be enough. If you think you can get away with something sneaky here, think again. Uh, you know, I'm a fully sanctioned scholar who has devoted her life to the library arts. You know, if you try to so much as return a book to the incorrect shelf, I'll know. It would be great if I could take books off the shelf in the first place so I could even try to return them to the wrong spot. <laughs> I was just playing mental chess with Einar. I wish I could do that. Librarian keeps giving me furtive glances. The furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. I cannot tell if she is suspicious of my pre presence or if she is simply curmudgeonly. What a great word. That is a $10 word right there, curmudgeonly. <coughs> Investigate the shrine where I was found. I could probably do that. Or I could head home and see if my stone bricks is ready. Oh, sorry, Chloe. I kind of... Wait, what the heck? It's my... It's a paraglider? Free paraglider! Wait, how do I claim my free paraglider today? What on earth? Wait. Chat. My paraglider. My cat? No, that's his cat. That's fair. That's just a glitch? Doesn't look like a glitch to me. It looks like a free paraglider. My garden can support all kinds of plants. Have I grown them all? I started playing today. 
Shipping bin sales, 64 gold. I think that was literally just the one, like, uh, the one horn, right? What we've got here. We still got some time to wait. We got, like, five minutes on these. Like, six minutes on these. All right, fair enough. I did get some mail, though. I wanted to come back and check this anyway from Hadari. Heard you set up your smelter. Good job. Eshe's got this program she, she set up to encourage investing in Kalima's infrastructure or something. What it means for you is a little rebate on the price of your first recipe. A little rebate? Dude, this is a full... This is actually a full refund. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, I, that's very generous. Thank you. I'll take it. Wait, that means I can go buy the... Uh, I can buy the sawmill and the smelter with the same hundred gold. I found an infinite money glitch. You got one paraglider stu stuck in your plot, too? You should do chores, but also Baldur's Gate is right there. The eternal struggle of, uh, of the gaming lifestyle. Alright. Let's go see if I can buy myself a sawmill here. Where is uh, Ash Ashura is the one I need to buy the sawmill from, right? Where's Ashura right now? Ashura, you, s you seem to still be in the inn. All right, it's not so late in the day that you're gone just yet. That's good to know. I don't know if it's I, if it's him I have to visit specifically or if I have to go to his shop. It seemed like it's like you visit the NPCs themselves rather than an actual storefront. Which I am on board for. He also does also just have a storefront here, so you know what? That's fair. What can I do for you? How goes it? Ooh. If you're looking to have a little fun, there's a lot of ways to enjoy yourself in the valley. I go fishing for fun. He's a man after my own heart. Oni goes exploring in the woods. Badru can sit and listen to music in the inn for hours. There's all sorts, all Don't sorts of revelry. Treasure. I'm here for it. All right. What do you got for me? Basic sawmill. Yes, please. Purchase. 100 gold well spent. I wonder if I'll get a rebate on that one, too. <laughs> Alright, now how do I actually... Wait, how do I actually construct a sawmill? I didn't even see the, the crafting recipe. Can I find it in here? Somehow. Map, quests. Maybe I just go home and try and see what I need. I imagine I need some... Some wood. Maybe I need some stone. I don't know. Can't be anything too demanding, I would imagine. And there were a limit of three crafters per plot, at least until I get like a license to upgrade to get more. I remember that. So I think the sawmills and the smelters all count towards the same uh, crafting or crafter limit, I would have to assume. This isn't my house, but it's a very nice little place. Light incense. The incense fills you with calming warmth. That was nice. Chain's room. I need a key from chain to enter. I need to get two hearts with chain, is what you're telling me. Chain or Shane? All right, where's my home? I think I've gone past it. Yeah, I was, I was supposed to go back that way. Megan, welcome on in. I am having a, an amazing time with the game. It is it is very addictive, and I'm scared. Wait, what is that? Golden grasshopper? Is that or is that just a normal grasshopper? But it looks golden. It might just be a normal, a normal cricket. But it looks it looks so sparkly and gold. It's just one common field cricket. It is a star quality field cricket. Can't be mad about that. Also, welcome on in, Pada. I see you here as well. Welcome. Happy to have you here. Looking for love? If you make good friends, give a villager some chocolates. Maybe love will bloom. Maybe. You may be right. We'll have to... I don't, I don't know. I'm, I feel nervous. I feel nervous to give anyone chocolates just yet feel like I have I need to work up to that all right I'm gonna sell the cricket common field cricket W 
What do I need to craft my next thing here? My sawmill. I need 40 wood, and the rest I've got in spades. So I literally just need to go chop down a bunch of wood. And I can get, get that going. I guess I can get some... Also, am I able to... Do you think I'm able to move this? I can just straight up move this. That is so nice. It doesn't make any sense at all, but I'm so glad that you can. Oh, baby! It's so customizable. All right. Let's, um... Let me get the, the axe out. Let me ask you a question. And go chop some wood. Have a good one there, Bex. We're probably not going to be streaming that much longer anyway. Once I get the stone bricks I need and I'm able to start the house upgrade, I think we're going to go ahead and call it a stream. Because that house upgrade, I've been told, takes eight real-life hours to complete anyway, so we might as well save it for next time. But we're well on our way. Did anyone ever watch a documentary about a life sim that derailed marriages fall that derailed detailed marriages falling apart and other shenanigans IRL due to people bending uh bonding over the game? Could be a fever dream. It sounds like a documentary that has probably been made. I would believe it. Like MMOs have a rich and storied culture online now. Depend like no matter what MMO you've you have your most experience with. Ooh, forging level three. Love to see that. At least in this game, I don't mind leveling up. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh... There's a lot of stuff, like, stories like that that probably happen over MMOs. Back when I was playing, like, RuneScape as a, as a wee lad, it was like, I was playing RuneScape probably in, like, 2007-ish. I was, like, extremely young. Maybe even earlier than that, like, 2006, 2007. I was friends with this one girl on in the game... And she eventually was like, hey, do you want to give, you should give me your phone number so we can like talk in real life. And I just remember being like, you know, stranger danger, stranger danger. Because even though I knew her in the game, I was like, you know, I don't know her as like an actual person. So I was like, you know, I'm not going to do that. And she kept pestering me about it. And eventually I just like blocked her. Because like, I, like she was, she was a great person, but at the same, but like, come on now. <laughs> And I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, there's, there's a decent chance she was just, you know, I don't know, she just wanted to be my friend IRL as well, but I wasn't willing to take that chance. So, Leo Dragon 5 if you happen to be watching right now, then, uh, hello, I guess. And sorry for sorry for blocking you if you weren't a serial killer that was trying to, you know, get to me. Hey Argon, can you give me your number? You know, I'm a, I'm more tempted these days, but I don't think I can be tempted quite so easily. Let's craft basic sawmill number one. And basic sawmill number two. If you give me your address, you'll make me a very cool plushie. You can make, you can give me a cool plushie in in Palea if we if we figure out how we're able to do that. Am I able to move this lantern by chance? Yep. Something something told me I would be able to. I just want to put all my like smelting and crafting machines like all together here. This is massive. What the heck? I didn't realize it would be quite so big. All right, and number two, right there, perfect. All right, I don't need to actually put anything in them right now. Hello, are you? Do you do? Can I help you, sir? Uh oh, I need to exit As that. All right, there we go. You do your best. That's Are she, you've been quite busy around here. Who who is that behind you? You, I got a friend visiting. I got a friend. Hold on, I'm talking to Kenley right now. Oh, you're gone. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Goodbye. Sorry, sorry, I was busy mid conversation. Dot, 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 dot. This man knows how to use ellipses, ellipses the right way. Dot, dot, dot. So, uh, dot, dot, dot. Do you have anything for me? Like, what? Like a housewarming gift, of course. Uh, now I'm confused. <laughs> Is that not how humans do it? 
Here in Kalima, when someone moves to a new neighborhood, they go around giving small gifts to their new neighbors, snacks, toys, and the like. If you ever want to be invited to one of my wife's dinner parties, I suggest making the rounds. Don't tell Eshe you saw me. Don't tell Eshe you... <laughs> what are you I'm I'm concerned about about the, those two. Well, the mayor, like, he seems jolly and good enough, and then his wife seems, you know, uh, like a colorful character, but, all right, what do we got? Are we all done? We're not quite done. I well, actually, we might have enough bars already. That's fif 15, brick by brick, quest complete, plus five renown. That renown's gonna come and play eventually, I'm sure. Let me, this should be enough to, to contribute, right? 35? We got some despair and everything. Build time remaining, eight hours. All right. There was no fanfare. Part of me was hoping there would be... Uh, maybe there will be fanfare when we actually have the house all built. Part of me was hoping that I would see, like, some... Some fireworks or something when we did that. But, hey, you know what? We can have fireworks in chat. <laughs> there we go. All right. Goal successfully accomplished. Our house has been slated to be built. Big thank you to, uh, to, to, to... Oh gosh, why do I forget your name? Ven Moonstone now. Bailey in chat for facilitating the majority, in fact, all of our planks that we needed for our house. That did save some time in the long run. But I'm glad I got to finish it off myself. Can I make a community before I go? I can certainly look into it. You know what? Let's... I might as well get a community started here, if I can. Let's see, community. This is very. This is something interesting. Community name. Um, I can probably change this later on. Community name. What's our community name? I mean, the Discord server is called Argon's Matrix. I feel like that's a little too on the nose. What if this was... Because we got Chloe Castle is her name. What if this is Chloe's Castle? This is Chloe's Castle. Community motto. Exclamation point optimism. Community description. Um, we chill around here. Smiley face. I might get more in-depth with that in the future, but, <laughs> you know, it seems like a good place to start. All right, create it. It's been done. Chloe Castle, we chill around here. Exclamation point optimism. Please join my community. I don't know exactly how to do this. Clara, thank you for adding me as a friend as well. Invites? Manage invites. Can I, like, do I have to invite people specifically to the community, or am I able to, or are you, are you able to join? Our team is working on something special. My community. Is this does this would this leave my community? I don't want to leave Chloe's castle. I want I want to be able to like maybe I, I hope I'm able to change the description, but otherwise, you know, I'll work with it. Invite me through friends, manage invites, search player. I th can, I can probably invite through friends though, right? Like anyone who's given me It seems like I have to invite people. Invite to party, invite to community. All right, anyone who's befriended me, you're getting an invite to Chloe's castle. I don't, I don't know if that's actually sending the invite or not, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It's, it seems to be buffering. Already sent a player guild invite. Maybe these people are not online. Wait, it says they're online though. R is B. I'm going to just send them all out. Send them all. Invite the community. I don't know why these top two are not working right. Hmm. I'll look into it more in between... Uh, in between streams. But for now, I've set up a community and maybe we'll... We'll have some, f some fun community times in the future. Accepted? Community. Community member. We got we got lots of community members already. There you go. Welcome to Chloe's castle, everybody. How many friends did I make? That many. However many you just saw. Either way. This has been Palea. I've been very uh, excited to check it out. 
And honestly, it lived up to and exceeded my expectations in a lot of ways. I am super looking forward to trying this out more with all of you and getting to experience the world as a group, as a community in the future. It seems like it seems like it could be a great way for like us to get like especially as the game expands, gets bigger, gets more content and that sort of stuff. I feel like it could be a great uh, a great platform to you know just get together and and vibe out and just uh, and socialize even more. For now, though, that's going to be it for me today. I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream right there. Uh, I will be back live again tomorrow, not with more Palea, but we're going back onto Fractured Farm with Beatrix, and we will be continuing Randomized Perfection. The golden clock approaches ever onward. And then we'll be back with, you know, next week with potentially more Palea. I don't know yet, but I've had a blast with my first few hours of it here. Ooh, pardon me. In my first few hours of it. Thank you all for joining me on this lovely adventure. And I will see you all, hopefully, tomorrow. And if not, then, you know, just have a great weekend. Be good Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. Yeah. And, be, and as always, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and have a good night, everybody. Ooh, wait. Bye-bye. Huh. And then I... Oh, wait, no. Hold on. <laughs> the setup is making it awkward for me. I'm going to send you off to fan art compilation town there we go all right have a good night everybody peace